seriously. Come on, give me my audio. Oh, it's connected to the TV, isn't it? Mm. Huh, weird. My audio isn't working right now. Hold, please. my red light. Okay. And Hall, D twenty three, D twenty three, D thirty two, blood gate. Yeah, I got the blood in that one. Um so huh. Why is audio not working? Um, yeah, because there's no, uh, there's no audio coming in uh, from the game either. Unless you can hear something, Paul. Yeah, um, yeah, I didn't think so. Uh, copy circuit recording. Properties. Well, it should be doing that. Uh, I guess not. Um, why don't we just reset the game? Um, maybe that'll fix it. There we go. Okay, perfect. Um, can you hear it now? I mean, I, I think it should work, but... Beautiful. All right, I'm gonna make a few tweaks. immediately tweaked. Okay, let's see. So, we wanted to get the blood kit one. Um, okay. Ah, uh, that's taken care of. Um, let's drop the video game. Just this, get my Streamlabs set up. There's music. Yeah. There is music. Okay. Beautiful. Um, I don't think we managed to get her. We were supposed to like talk to every single one of her uh her students. They are together to join our party. Fuck 
I just had some questions. What are you doing about this place? Go on. Uh, just really wish you Done. whatever. Good luck on your path. And we spoke to Juliet. Please help, Anna. Yeah, I mean, I know she's low on HP. I just don't have anything to heal her with. Um, what are you doing here? Blah, blah, blah. Sabling to be a sensei. Because mm, we, we conned them into thinking we were a sensei. Um, Vivian, have I spoken to her? I don't think so. A uh, tall, elegant woman with sharp features and a regal demeanor is a striking example of aristocratic beauty. Her clothes appear to be spun of a silver trend thread, and a small file dangles from her necklace. She is perfumed with an exotic, erotic scent that seems to draw you towards her. Greetings. My name is Vivian. Am I to presume I am being summoned? Um... I've spoken to nine prostitutes altogether. Do you know where the tenth one is? Tenth student? She studies as you, and she's not heard sure she heard you correctly. Perhaps you have taken one too many blows, or perhaps one of the girls has been playing a game to you. There's no tenth prostitute that I know of. What do you know about Ravel Puzzlewell? Okay. A night hag from Sigil's Pass. I hope she stays in the past then. Night hogs. Night hogs. <laughs> night hogs. Uh, night hags are foul creatures besmirching all femininity everywhere in the plains. She only pauses. You may wish to ask Yves. She knows all sorts of peculiar little tales. Okay, I have spoken to her. And then this place uh, should have a list of every single 40 to 50 night right. hogs. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Uh, Yves. Yep, we spoke to Yves. Caretaker. Um, we spoke to Adderton. Uh, we spoke to Delora. Get that. This transparent blue white stone held the mesh. Kesai Sarres. Yep, we got her. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ten. I mean, yeah, there are ten. Mm, Marissa. Yep, I think we got her as well. Uh, Vivian. Yep, we got Vivian. Let's see. Uh, Echo. Yep, we got her. Nanny. Yep, we did get Nanny. Juliet. We did get Juliet. Where is the tenth? This grayish white stone held in a mesh of engraved silver bands pulses with light. Something was once inscribed into its base, but the writing Updated has been scored away. Huh. I have anything in here that can help her. Yeah, no, I have no healing items right now. It's kind of unfortunate. Uh, I mean, I guess there's technically her. How may I help you? Some questions I wanted to ask you. I spoke to nine of the students as you asked, but I could not find the tenth. I could not find the tenth student? How curious. I am thinking the 10th student is me, in which case I have spoken to all of them. I think Lewis is the 10th student in his own way. Um, I think it's me. Very well, in your thoughts. You and I should leave this place and explore the plains. There is nothing more for either one of us to experience here. Learn what it means to aspire to be a sensei instead of go in search of experiences rather than have it come to you. You should get rid of all the armors in the brothel and use them as firewood. Ah, a practical thought indeed. Very well. I will travel with you if you still desire my company. Oh, 
incredibly good um okay let's see we have gotten the blood handkerchief blood um okay seeds and eggs that's what we gave out to the meal um okay where do we need to go to next home of bone and ash endure uh, Okay, is there right. a place for me to rest? Because I don't remember. Um, oh, right. In the Society of Sensation. Um, and honestly, now that we have a healer, um, that's going to be pretty good. Let's see. Um, we'll have to just head to this one. Makes me to look for a man named Ellie Haverdoff. Done. Should be near the brothel. Let's see. Um, we're gonna talk to you. Uh, that would be nice. Let's get a rest. And everyone is full. Nice. Okay, all right, uh, we head here, we head back out. Um, there's, a girl, there's a guy named Ellie that we need to talk to, and then we should be able to go from there. Here's the guy. With narrow eyed, sharp faced man is scanning his surrounding with a look of vague disinterest, pausing occasionally to look down and pick at his fingernails. Despite being clothed in silk and velvet finery, he manages to look unsavory, more than a little dangerous. Um, he his eyes are dark slits like narrow stab wounds beneath his brow. His voice is low and gruff despite his slender build. Pike off. Not yet, I have some questions. You think I wandered the ward looking for strangers to spill in the dark for? Now pike off. Why are you here, then, to be surly with passerbys? Heh. <laughs> he stands for a moment and breaks into a crooked smile. That's good, that. He considers uh, you for a moment. I'm a tutor at the Civic Fest Hall, named Havelock. Ellie Havelock. As a veteran scout, I teach the art of subterfuge. Being thievery? His lip curls up in a disgusted sneer. She's so good, you still need to rest. Yeah, I mean, listen, she's only got so many spells. Um, but, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, my apologies, I meant no offense. Could you train me? Ellie frowns so sourly. I don't know. I've had enough teaching petty pickpockets and curious sensate for the time being. Almost to himself, he mumbles, not sure why I agreed to do it in the first place. Uh, hmm, many things. He looks you straight in the eye. I'll keep it simple for you, though. Jink. If you want the training, it'll cost you. I'll pinch the lady's bottom before I train another bird for free. Um... Hells, I don't know. 500 commons ought to be reasonable. A veteran scout. You know, five tours in the War of Lies. I serve. That's a lot of experience to share. Deal. Done deal. Do you have it now? Yes, here it is. Takes it. I'll uh, meet you in the Civic Fest Hall. I'll train you, and farewell until then, Cutter. Um, that was just for the level up, really? Um, I think she had a level up? Yeah, that was it. 
Uh, open doors, stealth, detect traps. That's good. And we'll bump her open doors up to 75. All right. right. Oops. Full part. All right. Okay, that's one part. Uh, done. After a man named Ellie Havelock, you can slip through Casino Command Cafe. Neil Bronte, ask her to use your fortune. Make sure her fortune lasts. We already got him. Ooh, the talk can go a bit that way. It's really great. Talk to Yana. Find out she is Yves's mother and tell her Yves's tale. Okay. That's something. Right? That's the. Uh. No. That's not it. Uh, the Advocate's Home, the Finan Linguist, the Curiosity Shop, Cloth Carry. Um, the Castle. Where is it? Okay. I think I might, I might just need to... I think it's in the lower ward, the museum. Under sigils, the Defense Hall, Apothecary, Art and Curio Galleries. There it is. Um, talk to Yovana. Uh, greetings again. Do you have a question regarding one of the pieces? No, but I do have other questions. You look familiar. Do you know someone named Yves? We no longer speak to one another. Why is that? Um, she's gone off in pursuit of stories, all, all for reasons I am unaware of. I uh, told me a tale that might answer that question. So if a tale changes her story and her aimless quest for the tale that holds the truth she seeks. Um, I had no idea. I will see her now. Thank you, good sir, for bringing me this news of my only daughter. As she speaks, color slowly bleeds into her pale irises until her eyes are a brilliant shade of green. Your eyes. Can you see now, Yovana? She nods, smiling. Oh, that's nice. That's pretty cool. Okay. Um, we did that. She did up more reward. You might deliver the blood vials. No, do not. Uh, <clears throat> nope. Uh, head all the way north and speak with Salabesh the Onyx. If you can a nice little juror. Um, uh, what did these use coppers? Where Jomi is splinter. He's in charge of the museum's confection. Rodan, stop the throwing the headless. Hmm. Okay, I'm trying to find the Finan. He's Kusai in the deck house collection. Uh, the weighted stone. If you are wise enough. Ask him for your training as well. He'll try to get you training at first, then he'll try to make training. If you're smart enough, you review the document. Uh, you have to get the art and treat him from the Cathedral Mage here, respectively. You'll get 10,000 XP when you convince him to teach you. Back to Christian Room, Gesis of the Bloodware. He finishes asking if he survives in the Blood War. Um, first kid told him about him. Blood Fly Charm. You should try something other. Let's search up the murder sense. Uh, Jumble is the one talking to the man who knows the thing's curse. Time okay, is that's, precious. That's a that's let a, us not squander it here. That's a quest that we can do. <laughs> so it, I mean, we have I think room for like one more party member here. So let's see. Geis is, Geis is the crooked. Uh, stay for the lecture. Comfort Sigillian. No more time. I want to hear this. Keep listening. Keep listening. Spectators of the class. What's up? You're watching. Listen to the blood store. Keep listening. This should give. This should give me XP. Uh, um. How does one survive the blood war? Well, we're at three things. Cutter heals the main hand with only two fingers. First off, stay the pike out of it. Second, you keep yourself pike and elves out of it. And lastly, you stay the bloody pike and slot out of it. So stay out of it. Um, if there's nowhere to run, why aren't there fiends fighting in sigil? Ah, uh, now Cutter, they have fought here a few times. Sometimes they get a little spillover from the blood war. Lady of Plain, bless her, still written in the heart. Uh, puts out the fires. Go on. Not the fiends just take sigil. Go on. That's bitterly. I don't find it hard to believe that a woman can stop the blood. I don't find it hard to believe. Oh, uh, this tis just the fiend going to get it. Well, the lady's in charge. Tis all. She's tough as nails. The blades will cut you deeper than any fiend's thing. And that the knots the fiend see stems like you wouldn't believe. One quiet lady, the 
her hands, tucking the seat, holding back the blood board by, all by yourselves. I don't find it hard to believe that a woman can stop the blood form. <gasps> Hello, it's a Tay! Um, but fiends are allowed in sigil. Go on. Go on. Uh, you look like you've tasted the war. Perhaps. Uh, try and recall the memory. Yeah, there we go. Uh, the lecture hall begins to fade from view as terrible visions begin to seep up from the base of your mind. It me... Uh, visions of a place where seasons are like nothing you've ever felt, heard, or tried to shut out. A place where prayers go unheard, falling like stones on the earth, vein-colored lightning. Flashes across things that were once sky, but now boil beneath your feet and, sc feet and scream when you brush against them. You run at the head of a large band of men, passing through dark canyons where the walls quiver moistly and beat like a heart. Wearing only, uh, your own blood as clothing. At last you stand in a place where the ash and gray terrain slithers like a mass of snakes coiling around your ankles and whispering uh, your evil to the earth. You march endlessly, silently, through this colorless land where fatigue seems to live, and you hunt like a shade over the waste, whipping you with despair. In time, you and the ragged men follow you upon, follow you upon sitting on a mound of gigantic writhing larvae, poking at one of the slime-colored things with a broken talon. You indicate for one of the men to run forward and speak with her. The hag's grating voice carries to your ears. I would speak with him, she said, then castled, cackled. Her eyes gleam as she points you out to the man. The handsome one that leads your ragged calling. I would speak to him. That is all that you can recall. Uh, Cody, right there? Yes, I'm fine. So do the fiends recruit often? Um, I have no more questions. All right, that's one. Uh, just stop listening and leave. And the man named Jumble Murder Sense. Uh, this wonderful fellow. Come on. Let me click on you. Greetings. Uh, I touch your card and proceeds to eat it, grinning wildly at some questions, Jumble. Jumble my questions. Um, truth, I want some answers and I'll beat them out of you. Uh, Jumble raises an eyebrow. He opens his mouth abruptly and through his lips or throat. Don't move to shape any worms or, or sound. A torrent of incomprehensible babbling Updated begins to my journal. forth. Uh, Jumble shuts his mouth and the babbling ceases. He peers at you through narrowed eyes, a self-satisfied smile on his pudgy face. Suddenly, you hit go. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, you say that, but I did just legally change my name last night, so that was exciting. Um, Jumble Murdison's merely turns his head away. Um, Uh-oh, looks like you just got a curse thrown on you, Chief. Uh, whatever you've done, Jumble. Um, attack him. Huh. That didn't remove the curse, and now I'm just hiccuping. Nice. Oops. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Um, let's see. If you're a little to the southeast. Um, Blood War, Man of Jomi Splinter. You'll meet Kisai. I got first room. Listen to Geese is the crooked. Look for a man named Jomi Murder Sense. Talk to the talk to Man of Jomi. He'll refuse and you'll end up preaching yourself. Exit the fest hall and see Salavish. He can't remove your curse, but however, you can convince him into teaching you how to uh, curse to put on Jumble. Well, that quest line um, uh, just kind of like bit, bit the dust. Oops. Uh, and head to the Nate Scott Chambers and the Lady Thor Palm to make sure that the public auditoriums. Head on the best of dormitories now. I want to do 100% room. Uh, we'll decipher the do dodecahedron in a while. Uh, leave the quest hall. Don't spend any quest you might have pending with the girls and ask Eco about Ravel. She will tell you that Kisai Saris is one of your father's child. Sweet smell of sensates and governors. Oh, this is great. He's just gonna grunt forever. What if I just leave that on the character? I think I'm gonna do that. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna let him keep grunting. Um, ask your truth. Talk with Kimaxi. Go to Kisai. 
Like the handkerchief that he's keeping. Like, yeah, let's get the... Yeah. Um, there's a guy that can, like, remove it. Uh, has to be advocates now. It's hard to remind him to use his own just mad. Of course, in such a situation, advocates can be connected. But the legacy of the Dodecahedron would be a thousand. Uh, I Ask him about dying there. Let's see. Okay. Done. Okay, I think I need to go. Oh no! Hmm. Yeah, no, thank you. Um, the tailor, the low reward, under sigil, advocates. Yep, we need to go there. So we're just gonna be grunting this the rest of the game. This is great. Love it. Done. Here's the advocate. We need to speak to him about something. Greetings, Giannis. Uh, I had some questions for you. Um, excuse me for asking, but are you alright? Uh, you must excuse me as late. I've been beset by troubles. I'm afraid it's been a rather trying time these past few years. Um, anything I could help with? No, no, there's little that can be done. Nevertheless, I appreciate your offer. Perhaps talking about your troubles will ease your mind. I do not wish to burden you. I lost my dog a lot long ago. It was this fire, but there's also another matter. Uh, tell me about your daughter. Yana seems to collapse into himself. Uh, yes, his business-like facade drains from his face to be replaced with cold despair. My daughter, Dianara, passed away some time ago. Um, I saw a woman by that name entered into the mortuary memory hall. She had become a ghost and claimed that she knew me. What? What, what did you just say? Uh, her spirits now resides in the memorial hall. I spoke with her for a time and she seemed to be in distress. Y you spoke to her? What distresses her? Um, yeah, she went to dead too. Me, apparently. She said that she loved me and that I had loved her and that I had forsaken her. I see. Perhaps. Are you the one she left sigil with? The one that led her on the journey to kill her? I'm, uh, she seemed hysterical and knew little of her surroundings. You might want to go seek her out. Um, I'm not, I'm not certain. I think I may be that mad, but I've forgotten much. You. You are the one and you say you have forgotten? Yana strives and draws himself up and he looks like he is squaring himself for a battle. You have forgotten, but the incident was so, not so long ago. How can this be? On a strange condition, I lose myself for a time. Anything you can tell me about myself or your daughter would be invaluable. I misspoke. I doubt I am that man. Uh, that's the truth. Countless liars I have known in my tenure this day. But you do not strike me as one of them, at least on this matter. If you truly do not what have, remember, then whatever befell you and my my daughter on your journey must have left deep scars. I'm inclined to agree. Then I ask your word on this. If your memory returns and you discover what has happened to my daughter, return to me so that my mind may at last be rest on this matter. Yeah, I'll do that. Uh, uh, greetings, Ionis. I had some questions for you. Uh, I was an advocate again. Legacies. Um, I want to. Yes. Uh, I could use some counsel, actually. Um, can you tell me about the fire? There is nothing much to say about the matter. It was a strange localized fire. I cannot imagine what had been precious in the document. Okay, let's see. Enter the Ezekiel's house. Get lost. You can ask him about the legacy from the Dodecahedron. A copper a gold, a god's in the receipt. A stone gold in his wallet. It's not Dianara's legacy as well. Nanus will be surprised and reveals that he is, in fact, Dianara's father. Tell him you got the legacy from the sensory stone and offered to speak with the senses about Dianara's permission to see it. Secret from Dianara. Do you know the scroll? Okay. Um, uh, it was burned. A number of old legacies were burned, and some mementos and keepsakes valued only to me. Legacies? They are contracts that are deliverable at the death of a client. Uh, they provide specifics on how a person's possession are to be divided upon the demise of events. I have also heard them called wills. Are they anything like dustbin contracts? Oh my, no, no. While they are deliverable at the time uh, of the client's death, bequeath the client his body to the dustbin, not a pleasant business at all. But some who are poor, of poor means find the dustbin contract to be a means of support. Um, okay. I think there's something about the memories then uh, 
Um, but, oops. Let's see. Who would be doing Nara? Which is now to take the Godsman receipt. What do I get? The Godsman receipt. Um, you can ask him about the legacy from the Dodecan Cathedral for 8,000 AP and a Godsman receipt. Okay. Um, there's a Dodecahedron that. Dodecahedron. Uh, sure, can you just give me your old room's key? The room's clerk. Hmm. 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 Who is in chat? Can you ask him some shots? Okay. All right. I'm gone. Jomi, there's Splinter, a Sensate, Sensate. Uh, let's see. Come to the festival's dormitory. Enter the first room to the west in the unfulfilled desire. Come to the drunken mage that is in her magical mug for 10,000 XP. Okay, I think the uh, personal dormitories were in this room. And do, 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 do. Oh, they, they want you to find a D12. Yeah, there's like a dodecahedron and a legacy or something in here. Uh, Fest Hall Room Clerk. Let's see. Uh, greetings, sir. Not right now. Farewell. She'll give you your old room key. Right, there, these are a bunch of sensates. Uh, too bad it's not a mycosahedron. Is that a d20? Uh, ye. Oh, okay. Special ability. Right. Uh, scroll of fire and ice, and then the dodecahedron. Okay. Um. The nameless one was a nerd in life. Well, geek. I think this is our room. High quality stiletto. Oh, hello. Um, Daycon. Why don't, why don't, Ready. please move. Why not? Thank you. I will hear your path is mine. Hello. Bam. Bam. Oh, okay. Um. Use. Uh, you can't figure out how to unlock plates, however. Okay. Anything else? Hey, there's something Done. right there. Nice. Money. I'm assuming that this is our character's room, if that's the case. This is... Um, no, geek. Huh. Well, you know what? This curse is actually starting to be a little bit annoying. Uh, next to the fest hall, you'll see Salabesh. You can't remove your curse, but he can now convince it into teaching a curse to use on Jumble. And... Gosh, wait, am I stuck with this for the entire game? Hmm. Do I want to reload this save? I don't think so. Um, but we've got it now. Um, and then we need to go to the advocate's home and I guess ask him about it. Um, uh, computer from Jumble, baseball from Salabash, computer, 
Uh, it's close range. You use the dodecahedron and fiddle for a bit. After a while, you'll figure out that what the next part of the dodecahedron is, in fact, a journal and some I'm kind hurt. of strange thing. Oh, no! Great. I hope he doesn't lose his memories this time. Damn it. Amazing. Amazing. Absolutely astounding. So, let's see here. Advocate's home. Oh, heavens. Uh, if this is the dead world, then where do you go when you die here? Um, in D and D canon, the idea behind it is that you basically become part of like you you become planar energy, and become like a creature uh, that then like is from that plane, uh, the one that you died on. Um, yeah, Hedron. Let's see here. Um, use. This heavy dodecahedron is about the size of both of your fists. Ball together seems inexplicably familiar to you. The texture is cold and smooth. Um, but whether it's metal or stone, you cannot tell. A certain almost intangible tension runs over the object, as if it were ready to spring from the air at any moment. Examine it closely. Upon closer examination, you realize that each side of the dodecahedron um, is a plate that can be twisted clockwise or counterclockwise. It appears to be a puzzle box or combination lock as each of the pentagonal plates has 5,140,625 settings it would take every second of the next 77 odd years to hit all the combinations but then you might get lucky and stumble onto a solution in minutes fiddle with it for it as, as you methodically twist the cold gray facets of the dodecahedron a strange sensation forms at the base of your skull your hands seem to move of their own accord, turning the object and spinning its facets with mechanical precision. You've done this before. You knew the combinations once, and you also become aware that there's a certain danger with the object. Whether it's from simple traps or something less mundane, though, you cannot tell. Keep working. In moments, you have what might be the first four sides locked into their proper places. If you begin to twist the fifth side of the dodecahedron, you recall a cunning blade trap that would snap out to lash a meddler's hand, slashing their wrists and severing fingers. You avoid the trap with the proper number of rotations, certain that you've made progress in the unraveling of the raw object's secret. Keep working on it. After avoiding the dodecahedron springing blade, you... The stream is lagging and such. I miss, think I missed the answer. Um... Okay, so the... Uh, planescape is basically like all the afterlife and stuff and after a creature like dies in the planes they become planar energy and inevitably like create become a creature um that would be like from that specific plane um for instance if a creature comes from acheron um this kind of like a uh, plane uh, that's just like these giant cubes that like crash into each other um that they eventually dissolve and could become something like a rust monster uh, after winning the dodecahedron springing blades you slowly puzzle out the next series of facet positions um you start to turn the ninth side of the dodecahedron you suddenly remember a second trap jets of toxic gas would form a billowing cloud of lethal corrosive vapor around a curious meddler you circumvent the trap with the number correct amount of twists pause that you've nearly unlocked it working and you circumvent the dodecahedron's poisonous gas trap and begin your work on the final facet positions uh just as you're locking the 12th pentagon uh into place sorcerer's runes hidden within a dodecahedron unleash a tiny storm of magical lightning arcs of cracking blue light run up your arms leaving smoke trails of black ruined flesh in your wake after allowing your muscles to cease their spasms and picking yourself back up you recall how to avoid that tryout after making a final adjustment to the 12th facet, the doth decahedron uh, clicks and begins to open in your hands. Um, that's right. I should pull up the app just in case it is lagging out. Uh, what's your TV use? Yeah. Um, I didn't. Um, oops. Uh, because I connect, managed to find a long enough uh, HDMI cable to hook up my television uh to my computer um and now i've got i've just got the uh damn it what's the word um 
Now I've just got a, uh, oh gosh, where are my words? Um, and now I've just got like Streamlabs up on the second screen. Uh, hmm. Uh, let's see. A dodecahedron splits once, twice, and eventually unfolds itself and possibly into a perfectly rectangular tablet, the size of a large book. Etched into its surface are a series of bizarre symbols. It looks to be a code or language that you feel should be familiar to you, but it's not. Further examination of the tablet reveals that by twisting the pentagonal facets that are now upon the other side of the tablet, different pages may be displayed across the tablet's face. You finally realize that the dodecahedron is a tome or journal of sorts. Updated my journal. All right. And then we're supposed to talk to the advocate. Greetings, Ionis. Had some questions for you. Oh, how does this line of questioning go? Uh, tell me about your daughter. Uh, if you're unable to recover her body, how did you know she had died? Um, uh, Dustin told me the faction of Dustin and Monument. You say she was a sensate. Uh, she joined them because of her gift and the fact there was so much about the Moldiers that she wanted to experience. Updated uh, my journal. Gift. Oh yes, my daughter had the blood of an oracle running through her veins, but it was an unreliable talent. At times, uh, she could predict events before they took place. She had sight. She could see through time itself, sit through the threads of fate. Do you know how she died? Um, I do not know. Her body was never recovered, and that perhaps is the most maddening part. Uh, this. What I don't know what possessed her to run off like that. What happened to her? Where, more where her body lies now. Now this may help if you'll see help me with. As an advocate again, I could use some counsel actually. Uh, how do I trigger this dialogue for him to be able to help me with this? Uh faux fire us. A bit after figure out how to open it. You're smart enough, you can smart uh the room's falling silver. Over the dough cage in a while, which is a splinter trap, but you can easily find a way. Let's see, the cahedron, the cahedron. Sorry, I'm like consulting a walkthrough here because, like, let's see, let's get the dough. Oh, the linguist. Okay, I'm using like a walkthrough oh. because parts of this game I have found are incomprehensible. Um. In that, I mean, like, they are, like, almost impossible to solve without guidance. Um, I mean, I guess you could with, like, enough fiddling, but I'm, like, interested uh, in the main plot. All right. Of... Yeah. Uh. Some questions. Unfold the dodecahedron. He takes the unfold dodecahedrons in his hands and examines it closely. This language is a long dead one, known to virtually no one. I believe my father, a linguist like myself, knew of this language. Mel had been the only man in Sigil at the time who could translate it. I recognize it from its notes, but I cannot translate it. Do you have those notes still? It'll be of no use to you if you're looking to translate anything. The few actual books he had pertaining to that language kit disappeared around the time of his murder, I believe. Yeah, I'd like to see them just the same. I'm not certain where they are just now. I'm looking for something else at the moment. My research journal. Perhaps when I've recovered that, I could spare the time to find those notes for you. Uh, which you last have it? Eh, well, I'm not sure. Well, perhaps it, it somehow found its way into the brothel of slating intellectual lust. But how could, how that could have uh, come to pass? I do not know. There, you said said your father was murdered. You knew the language though and could teach it. Surely he could and could were he alive today. My father said, let's see, uh, strangled he was. He had left to tutor someone. He taught various languages to supplement his research in income. And discovered dead in the side chamber of the civic fist hall. The killer was never found. There was that was was um, oh, perhaps fifty years ago, but I was but a child. Surely he did and could were he alive today. My father said to be a great teacher. His skill with the language, but not his patience for the others. I see. Is he interred Updated at the mortuary? Why no? His ashes are kept here. He points to a bronze urn sitting atop the cabinet with a bouquet of purple flowers. Why? A wry smile uh, crosses Finiam's lips. A necroscope, are you? Speak with the dead? He suddenly frowns. I have no wish to speak of these things. You'll have to excuse me. Farewell. Well. Alright. Use stories tell bones on the remains. 
The ashes seem to stir faintly as if moved by your breath. A faraway voice whispers uh, up to, from within the urn. Why have I been summoned to these ashes, cold and gray as the heart of a hag? Answer some questions, spirit. Ask then so that I may return to my most quiet thoughts. Um, who were you? I was Finn, a linguist and scholar. I was murdered. Murdered by a student of mine. Murdered so that I could not teach another language I taught him. The tongue of the Uyo. It was one of the rarest in the unit multiverse. I knew of no one who spoke it save myself and that one damnable murderous student. Um, speak, describe to him the writing from the folding dodecahedron, as if he knows the language. Uh, I could teach you this language, yes. It would please me to do so. In fact, if only despite the bloody-handed student of long ago. First, tell me what languages you do speak. I wring his hands in the spirit. As the spirit speaks to you, the lost language of the Uyo, there is a throbbing sensation in your temples as the memory begins to surface. Memories of this language. You recall letters, words, phrases, until, like a spire wind, blowing away the blanket of poisonous smog over the great foundry, the language is once more revealed to you in its entirety. Updated my journal. There's another memory, though, bubbling to the surface, a darker one. Its presence troubles you somehow, fills you with unease and unexplained... Pangs of guilt. Oh my gosh, you're his father's murderer. Okay. Updated my journal. Last, you recall Finn Andal himself. You remember his gentle voice, his kind manner, his schooling you in the ancient language of the Uyo. You also remember your scarred, gnarled hand wrapped around his frail throat, crushing his larynx, and ensuring uh, that the secret contents of your journal, hidden and thrice trapped in a dodecahedral puzzle, penned in the obscure language of the Uyo, would forever be safe from the prying eyes. Updated my journal. Like Finn, I must tell you, it was me who murdered you. The spirit is silent for a time. The ashes of rustling slowly within their urn. That speaks once more, the voice is full of sorrow. But why? Why would you come to me once more? Did you forget what you had been taught? No. Well, yes, it is difficult to explain. But it must have been a former self of mine that murdered you. Each time I die, I reawaken as if from a long sleep, having forgotten everything. Who I was or what I'd done. I think I understand. I sense your regret and would forgive you. May peace be with you, people of old, and may you prove kinder in this life than one which saw an end to mine. I feel Aww. stronger. Aw, yeah, baby. <clears throat> I should probably tell him. Uh, what did you say about your father being murdered? He knew the language, but no one could teach it. Uh, okay. Uh. I can't say anything else, I guess, to him. Um, alright. <clears throat> Level up time, baby. One characteristic point gained. Um, the higher the charisma, the more favorably people react towards you. Um, I mean, I bumped up my strength earlier. Um, makes your familiar attacks more high strength allows you to carry more weight. Constitution will bring that up. My hit points are fine. I'll bump the wisdom up a little bit more. Let's see. All right. Um, let's see. Now you can deliver Finn. Uh, talk to the ashes. Remember, we'll try to service during Lao. Wow, now you can deliver Finn this book. Use the dodecahedron. 10,000 XP. And browse through all its contents. All right. Dodecahedron time, baby. Uh, and pull the deck of the key and reach it. The tablet turns out to be a journal of sorts, one kept by some prior incarnation of yourself, it would seem. Not altogether the same one, either. There are a handful of completely coherent sections. What we play now. This is Planescape Torments. Um, I'm gonna try and, like, push through the ending of this game, which I am very close to. Um, which should be, because after this, I have... After this, uh, I think I'm going to play Kingdom Hearts uh, and go through that series. That'll be fun. Um, uh, there is only a handful of completely coherent sections. Read about whispering shadows. The whispers not the sh are not the shadows moving. They are speaking, plotting, talking to each other. I can understand some of what they say. Read about a female ghost. Uh, the book tells me things, whispers things. It tells me to avoid the girl, the ghost girl. Avoid her. I don't know her, and she torments me. Uh, read about hiding something within your own body. And so I swallowed it, hoping it'd catch in my bowels. I can make someone remove it when I need to. That was the thing that we got from Marta earlier. 
Um, read some paranoid ranting. I've learned that my life is not my own. I will not allow you to have my life. You will have to pull my life from my broken body if you want it. It's you who will die. I cannot have it. Neither will you. You are responsible for this treason of flesh. You will not live to live my life. Huh. Uh, let read of the, cur the cursed tattoos will not leave my skin. I have tried to burn them off my skin. Failed. Failed. I try and cloak myself, but I always feel that people are reading my flesh. Reading me like a book. Wherever they look, I want to tear their eyes out, pluck them from their sockets, and crush them beneath my heels. Interesting. Um, read about dreams and ravel. I used the goblet of Semir to force a waking dream. I saw a hag. She tempted me, threatened me with shadows. I have never seen her, but she came when I dreamt. I must not dream again. I always be, must always be aware I destroyed the goblet. She says she is someone of power and that she will have me. And she will find me. Get away, hag. Stay far from me. Leave me in peace. I want nothing to do with you. Uh, she is a, was a myth. Her voice reeked of evil talons, talons like spiders. They burrowed into my gray matter, and I needed her out of my mind. Out, out, hag. She was a myth, a fairy tale, who alone challenged the Lady of Pain. Who can one fight someone who is a myth? I don't have the weapons. I need weapons that will kill her should she find me. I need a strategy so she cannot defeat me when she comes for me. I must devise and think. I shall beat her. What about the dangers of names? Fear names. Names have power and identity. Names can be used as weapons by others. They are a hook that can be used to track you, find you, hunt you across the plains. Remain nameless, and you shall be safe. Um, read about the killing in the Fest Hall. I went to the Fest Hall looking for the past of my f path of my false self in halls. So glaring was it that those I did not know, the false ones, welcomed me into their confidence, treated me as a friend, showed me my room, uh attended to my needs i had to restrain myself from launching out against them that would have been premature first i need to protect my identity i found one who knew the exclusive language of the uyo learned it as i could then killed him then i went to the sensorium and prepared to the end the matter soon soon read about the murder of the one who tried to help you read a cryptic answer from an unknown source so the ghastly head said you have been divided you are one of many men one in many men, you hear, you bear many names. Each has left their scars on your flesh. Lost one, immortal one, incarnation's end, man of a thousand death, the one doomed to life, restless one, one of many, the one whom holds life prisoner, the bringer of shadows, the wounded one, misery bringer, the yemith. You who are sl silver glass that is cracked in the pieces scattered across history. Only one piece of is of import. Regain that, your life will be yours. There will be a price. The price will buy you a chance. Without the chance, you are doomed. You have lost that which is never meant to be separated from man. Your mortality has been stripped from you. Lost, it exists. But you must find it before your mind has been lost to you as well. Um, read cryptic answer from an unknown source. Show more. Huh. Done. That is the journal, I think. Um, let's see. Uh, Conquer, Ultimate Mercy, Honor, Legacy. Speak with the Advocate. Let me see if you can ask him about the legacy from the Dodecahedron. Uh, greetings, Giannis. I have some questions for you. As an advocate, I could use some counsel, actually. How do I? Let's see. Um, now you can browse through all its contents. Um, legacies? Hmm. Strange. Um, about your daughter. Do you know how she died? Uh, did not. Hmm. If you're smart enough, you can circumvent the dodecahedron's traps. Meanwhile, let's see, walk around your mind as well. He refused. Give me some more chocolate. Eat the fest hall. Go to the brothel. 
Uh, you know, um, father's will give you. Show him the Dodecahedron. He'll say only his father can translate it. If you if you if you bring them the book, uh, you and Pavel are quitting. So else will just murder. Um. I'm going, uh, okay. Well, let's try and do that. Let's go to the brothel. They need that. What? I'm gone. Did they seriously just block the entrance to the brothel for, so that I could not get in? Oh heavens! Okay, go, 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 go! Oh my gosh! I fear I've been wounded. Run, please. Grace. Oh, this is. Okay. Cool and fun and nice and good. How does she only Oh, it's 42 HP. This is this is fine. I guess I can't go into the brothel because I murder jumble murder sense. Delightful. Right. Um raise dead over. I think she should heal herself. Yeah. I'm here. Let's have her enter stealth mode and then try and get in. There we go. Bam. I'm gone. Um, where do I get this from the frost? Uh, let's see. Uh, journal. Mm, journal, journal, journal. Uh, this quality is the best of all. Come shop. Mr. Hoover Pig, go to Julia, ask about his. Mr. Massey, go to Keysai. Let's see how to handkerchief. You already have it, but don't give him to it yet. I don't already have it, actually. Um, this is the exact opposite. I don't, I don't actually have it. Maybe it's in one of these. Oh heck, Finnum's book. Um, Scroll of Acts of Torment, Fest Hall, Room Key. What's uh, your fourth acceleration? Got it. Art and Curio Galleries, Finnum the Linguist Notes. Well, we found his book. The Harmoniums cannot stop us now. So that is a completed quest. Let's see. Uh, his book. Uh, Finnum's like, yes, yes it is. Here you are, my father's notes. Uh, square then, are we? Good. I have to look over my notes now, so if you'll excuse me. Bloody handkerchief. Did somebody else pick up the note? Fall from Grace's diary. Uh, the lock resists your attempts. <laughs> Amazing. Um, Finn and Deli's notes. These are the notes of the deceased linguist Finn and Deli. They are composed of research in the language of the Uyo. Oops. Uh. Use, put them away. Okay, not you're dumb. Uh, you already have it. Don't give it to him yet. Probably run into these two. You can discuss your situation with diligence the boot shiner's house. Hmm. Ask him about the legacy from the dodecahedron. Uh, you can ask him about the legacy from the dodecahedron for 8,000 XP, 731 copper, a god's in the receipt, Clive's paper tie. Huh. This is... unintelligible. 
there is a conversation thread I am supposed to get somewhere. But I do not know what that conversation thread is. Uh, who are you again? Oh, jeez, was that sent you before? <laughs> I am Yannis, if you're hearing this. I apologize, maybe you can help me with something else. Get to this place again. Uh, what kind of counsel? Uh, do you need help with legacies? That doesn't work. Mm, so you told me about legacies. Damn it. I'm supposed to be able to give this to him for something. A, a contract of sorts. Part of me is thinking, like, what if I just hack the dustman receipt in? Because obviously the option is not popping up. But... <sighs> Hmm. 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 This walkthrough is like, oh yeah, you need that receipt. You have to do is take the Godsman receipt to Nadlin in the Great Foundry and cash it for the unfolding portal. Um. Not the legacy from the Dodecahedron. The danger of names. Read a cryptic answer. From the wrong source. Show more. Find name. Read something else. Where is. Okay, what if I just Google Dustman receipt? No. Godsman receipt. Uh, Planescape. Godsman receipt. Um, bam, 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 bam. Uses. Uh, acquisition. From e on pickpocketed from Nablin the Great. From Ionis the Advocate and the Clerk's Ward. Okay, well, let's call up Ionis. Uh, first of all, Ionis can be told about his daughter, prior incarnation of the Nameless One, left behind a legacy. Okay. Ionis can be told about his daughter, a sensory stone in the private sensorium if the sit in the civic fence hall. If Splinter is convinced to allow it, he's given access to the stone. Prior incarnation of the Nameless One left behind a legacy. That's what we're looking for. Okay. So, we need to go to the Society of Sensations. And not die to Harmonium Officers. Seriously? Are they seriously doing that? Poor Darkon. I fear I've been wounded. Should have been more careful. Are we serious here? I haven't had this much fun since uh, no, the last no, 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 no. No. Great. Wonderful. Hi, what? What's up? Good is done. No, go inside. Uh, Heavens. Okay, read the dead. You know, I'm 99% certain that killing that man was the worst thing I have ever done in this game. How can you help me? Um, can you show me to the sensoriums? Uh, I actually had a question about something else. Um, Jumble Murder Sense Curse Me. Can you read anyone? No. Uh, it's Salabesh. Um, Fest Hall. Let's see what I was looking. Let's see what I was looking for here. Oh, uh, someone who might know about Ravel Puzzle Well. I wanted to ask about you. I see it. Another question. Um, is there somewhere I could rest here? Um, tell me about the Society of Sensations. How to become a sensei. Uh, I'm ready. I want to become a sensei. First, what smell? Uh, my tidy body. We, there we go. Uh, the part about the chattering spirit please me. Here's a vice worker. Something meant to record and learn the sensory touch. Bam. Uh, let's see. Um. Uh, 
let's see if Splinter is convinced to allow it. How do I convince him to allow it? Speak his name, he's a bit cold, we'll ask a lot of questions. Uh, the society of sensation, grants the fellows an XP, unlocks the tattoo of sensation, the tattoo of the sensate. Uh, complete the clerk's work quest of all the alien and the mountain for the prior incarnation of the nameless one to the sensate. This allows the nameless one to access the sensorians without joining the faction. You can convince Splinter that the nameless one is already a sensate. Uh, sensory stones grab XP the first time they are used. Be sure to explore Society of Sensation. Yep, we got them. Um, hmm. This is troubling. I have some questions. So we're gonna rest here. Another question. Uh, ah. Complete the clerk's word quest involving Elwyn. With Esmer moving in the mouth looking for her. After the mouth and help, Elwyn can reveal. Okay, where is Elwyn? She is in the location of the clerk's ward. Oh, that's going to be a nightmare because we're going to have to deal with um, uh, harmonium officers. Why did I kill Jumbo Murder Sense? Why? Why? I mean, here's the thing that I guess I'm just going to do. We're just going to rest and take care of... Oops. Every single harmonium member. Uh, one by one. Because this is ridiculous. All right. Uh, yes, that'd be nice. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Rested for 16 hours. All right. Beautiful. I'm going. I wonder if Jumbo Murder Sense's body is still there. It's not. I don't think I could use Ray's dead on it even if I wanted to, honestly. Okay, so there is a few characters. One of these Elm Elwyn, the other is named Namel. We need to help them. Okay, Harlot. Where? X three six one five two four five zero. Is there coordinates on the map? I mean, we'll we'll find them eventually. Aelin and Mel. Uh, this game asks a lot of you. Now I'm starting to realize this. Fuck boss. She's in the clerk's ward here somewhere. Sorry, citizen, harmonium officer. I'm, I'm glad that the others don't let's see. Greetings. Uh, there's a woman turns to face you, violet eyes flashing like flawless ships of amethyst. Her speech is as music. You can hear a faint musical tinkling, a hundred tiny crystal bells as she speaks. Each word lingers in your ears, as if they were unwilling to relinquish the exquisite sound. The mouth turns to face the scarred, dour stranger. She asked, what is wished of her? What he wished of her? Wow. Pa, stop your drooling, you leering skull. My, what a hot-blooded little chit. It started for attention. I could drool over you, too, if you're just jealous. Mort starts floating towards Anna, making wet, slavering noises. I do not like him. Get a hair's breath closer, and I'll see to the... Uh, they're not one of your chat and cheat lie within a hundred places of each other. Namel, your friend Elwyn is journal. looking for you. Namel, 
Amel was overjoyed to hear of her friend. Was Aylwin close by? She's another cafe east if you're across this part. Um, old friend. Now, though, she would reward the stranger. She would draw the stranger close, laying her hand upon his chest and kissing the pale, leathery skin of his cheek. Life would flow into him, invigorating him. This, then, was to be his reward. As you wait, there's a light, tingling sensation upon your cheek and chest. The feeling spreads across the whole body, and you begin to feel stronger, more animate. Hey, my max HP increased by three! That's cool. Thanks, I had some questions. Uh, Emel listened to the stranger's questions, but could answer none. He would have to seek his answers elsewhere. I haven't even asked. Uh, frustrated, confused, he at last gave up. It was clear this woman possessed no more knowledge that was of use to him. Or if she did, she would not be persuaded to hear it. What? No, let me just ask something. You open your mouth, but no words come out. Try as you might, you cannot question her. The Mel shakes her head sadly. Um, she's at the other cafe. It's down here. What's this? Oh, just stilettos. Uh, so Aelin and Mel are right here. Aelin, there we go. Um, Aelin, she has been reunited with her dearest Lucy. Aelin clasps her hands together and bows her head to you and thanks, tears of joy falling from her golden eyes. Just as her own eyes begin to water, she wipes away her tears and smiles, causing a wave of intense pleasure to watch over your entire body. Aelin thanked the stranger. She had been reunited with her dearest friend, Namel. She nods and looks down again, the feelings of her smile evoked fading away into pleasant memories. How is it that you and Namel can affect my senses and emotions? I, Aelin, come from, can only say that we come from another place, another world. We are not like pe the people here whose words, thoughts, very feelings affect nothing directly. Go on. I, Aelin, take great care so as to not affect those around me too greatly. Namel, she is new here and cannot do so. It is something she must learn, should she sure choose to remain here much longer. There are many reasons I, Aelwyn, feel it is not right to impose reality upon those without the ability to impose their own reality upon me, Aelwyn. Is there anything you cannot do by simply speaking of it? Uh, she frowns, a strange unpleasant feeling rises in the pit of your stomach. Please, I, Aelwyn, would speak of it no more. Uh, she looks at you directly, your face reflected in the glittering golden disks of her eyes. He would speak of it no more to Aelwyn, and thus would no longer force her to speak in such a way to him. Uh, you'll find yourself unable to voice another question. Your words catch in your throat as you try to ask. Huh. Uh, interesting, the sensate incarnation that Elvin knew was Stormwalker. Does the Melvin even help? Elvin can reveal that she knew two previous incarnations. Just had some questions. Huh. Um, you don't think of being in the same day. That's kind of weird. Ellen's friend Namel is looking for her. Seen the Pels page for more information after Namel. Ellen can reveal that she knew pre two previous. How does she? Okay, maybe if I just wait for them to come back together with each other. Um, I wouldn't cross the smoke, the stranger. Please. 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 I beg of you. How am I supposed to finish this quest? Um, this is... This is fine. This is fine. Oh, no one's been helped. Let's see. Then, uh, huh. Uh, the command word for the decanter and this water to inventory can then be used to free ingots. Where do I get the decanter of endless water? Uh, free seas for Um, quest item. Uh, so we're going to stop here. It's where? Where, though? Whomst? I think. 
heavens. Does this... Alright, you know what? This is ridiculous. Okay. Where are my downloads on my phone? Downloads. Uh, there was a file. Downloads, okay, let's see, text, it was a text file, okay, item list, here we go, alright, uh, popping open, Chrome, okay, and we are looking for the godsmen in the seat, gods, men, let's guide, godsmen, token, one, two, three, Four. Okay. Um, farewell then. Okay, let's see. It is... It's receipt. Just receipt. Uh, command console. Time is precious. Let us not squander it here. Right. Mm, okay. Let me look this up again. Uh, in console, control space. Uh, create item. Cool. Uh, see. Oh, come on, let's shake a leg. Create item. Well, I mean, you shake a leg. Shut up, Mort. Uh, and then create item. It's receipt. Oh, come on, let's shake a leg. Where? Well, I mean, you shake a leg. It's a receipt with some sort of symbol stamped on it. Someone has uh, one of these identifying things. I think I might be able to get the curiosity shop uh, dealer to identify it. But we have 370 gold, so we should be fine there. Uh, continue. Did you come to sit you? What? Oh, no. Well, well, fall from grace, or whatever it is you call yourself now. Truly a pleasure to see you here. Wh what do I owe the honor of your visit? I thought that you rarely trafficked among our kind anymore. Uh, she glances you for a moment in some faint sneer. Or is your assignment here almost finished? I do not know what assignment you are referring to, Vriska, though your presence here be brings with it many questions. Last I heard, you were a standard bearer for the company of the vulture. How did you come to Sigil? She replies, Kurt. Curtly, firing a question back like an arrow. By choice. And you? Where will your orders take you next? She suddenly turns to you. You see, little man, Riska smiles, as if saving the words. The best temptress is one that can make it you buy into the illusion of being both promiscuous yet virtuous at the same time. A prostitute priestess, as it were. Mistress Grace is among the greatest. She turns to Ball for Grace. Are you not? You would not think that a score a thousand years of slavery had left their scars, no? Ball from Grace speaks with a coldness you have never heard before. Uh, there, the air almost becomes ice as she dissects Vriska with her gaze. That is enough. Uh, very well. Though you are the ones who came into my emporium. Well? Um, let's see. Vriska gives a quick half bow. Welcome back. Here to buy something? Um, yes I am. Uh, the weapons and charms... I need a charm of infinite recall. Bam. Bam. Let's take this. Uh, pop that into our inventory. Balance in all things. Item. Uh. Receipt stamped with the symbol of the godsman, probably redeemable at the great foundry. Bam! The deed is done. Let's go. All right. Mm. Hey, 
cannot stop me now. What did they do? What did they do this time? How did they anger her? Is it because I cheated the receipt in? You have tested your immortality against the wrong creature and have been destroyed. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Hold up. Amazing. I think, you know what? That's literally the ending of the game, isn't it? That you die or something? Let's see. Uh, you have tested your... Uh, let's see. You have tested your immortality uh, <laughs> against the wrong creature. Like this, you do stuff that she doesn't like. Attacking a Davis, you become a free disciple of Asokar. First time she usually vanishes, she's amazed. I think she kills you for a second offense. Um, become a follower of Askar with the help of Aeola and the day Alley of Dangerous Angles. Also, hello, hello, Animal Sentinel. Uh, do I know you outside of this, or are you just a new viewer? Become a follower, kill many innocent sigillians for no discernible reasons. Kill Davis. One Davis amounts to ten regular citizens. Uh, I see killing some mercy killers and harmonious. The most aggressive NPCs are thugs that like the streets. The solution is just simple. Simply run past them. Do not hang around. They won't bother you. Also try not... Oh, hello! Um, well, I mean, we if you're interested in Planescape Torment, we are almost at the end here. Um, welcome to the stream. Um... I plan on streaming a lot of, like, old uh, CRPGs in the future. Um, probably some Baldur's Gate 2. Um, but this is delightful. Um, I guess this means that I can take back uh, the fact that I killed Jumbo Murder Sense. Um, so let's just go back to the brothel. That's... How may I help you? That's cool. Um, would you like to join me in my travels? It doesn't... Blah, 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 blah. Uh, they don't my intentions. You see. Right. Um. There's some. All right. There's somebody who I have to talk to in order to get this. Was it. Echo? No, it was Juliet. That's right. Mm, Planescape Torment fan. Also, same. I am in love with this game. It's incredibly good. Let's see. Yes, I have. Uh, can you tell me about this place? Seems to be an inspiring something. Uh, did that did that res did that remove the request? Please tell me that did not remove the request. And it did say I was wrong. Um, ba ba. Others, all the rest. Bunch of people closing around. Noted. More. Uh, let's see. Me want you to more information. Plus, then you would like me to travel. You wish to speak to ten of my students in this establishment. I would like you to speak to all of them. Uh, I'll go speak to them then. And then I did that. Uh, um, and there is Juliet. Um, can you tell me about this place? I'm aspiring to be a sensate. Okay. Who was it that I talked to that told me that there were only nine students? I cannot find her right now. Oh, hey, was it her? I think it maybe was. Uh, Vivian, yeah, it was her. Uh, greetings. I oh, just have some questions. Uh, I've spoken to nine. You're the tenth is. Ah, there's no tenth prostitute that I know of. And then we come down here. 
uh, speak to Fall from Grace. How may I help you? That's one of the questions I want to ask you. I spoke to nine of the students, but I couldn't find the tenth. Um, I'm thinking the tenth student is me, in which case I've spoken to all of them. Uh, you should get rid of the armors and the brothel and use them as firewood. Ask softly and rise spark practical thought. Indeed, very well. I will travel if you still desire my company. Oh, Mistress High and Might, you'll be joining us? We're giving you tough luck. You couldn't possibly understand. I wish you would fall from grace, honey. I might even bump it off myself. Huh. All right, and then she's gonna come over and heal our party members. I need to be straight. Um, but we're not going oh. to. Thank heavens. Um, I guess I'm very, very close to angering the Lady of Pain, so I cannot kill anyone. We definitely cannot kill Jumble Murder Sense All again. Right. Um, but I do want him to remove the curse off of Requin. So, greetings. Uh, some questions, Jumble. Jumble, my questions. Truth, I want some answers, and I'll beat them out of you Updated if I have to. My journal. Um, pick up again. What have you done to me, Jumble? You better find someone else to help me lose this curse. Um, and then there's Siobhan that is outside. Uh, let's see, how can you help me? Um, Jumble Murder says he killed me, cursed me. Uh, there's what? She, if he's not within the fest hall's limit, then he is, he will be in within, let's see. Sal Beth is tall and thin, off dressed, and dark robe. Okay. Uh, Sal Beth, the Onyx, there he goes. Let's see, let's stand before me. Um, you must have curses. Perhaps you could hiccup help me. Helps you? Doubtful. Before you can respond, he sighs. Well, perhaps I could. Jumble Murder Sense cursed me. Jumble Murder Sense. Ha! That sputtering moon calf could never. Uh, best me. Um, oh, the battles we used to have, though. Salabesh frowns. But I'm uh, past all that now. No longer my sort of thing, you see. I really don't know what I could do for you. After all, it's his curse. Not the sort that you'd find in an item of some sort, and you know you could remove with simple magics. He'll have to remove it, and willingly. Well, could you teach me a curse that I could then use on him? Hmm, well, I don't normally do that. I keep my curses to myself, you know. Besides, even a single curse would take a long, long while to learn, and more time than I'd care to spend about it. Um, perhaps you're just worried your curses aren't good enough to best him. You what? Of all the ridiculous- Now look here, you knuckle-dragging sack of scars. Salabesh the Onyx is the master of curses, and there is no other. Why, I could give you but a single phrase that would render that nuke Nikum poops cursing wholly impotent. Teach it to me, then. No, no, I have simply no desire to do it. Uh, duh, duh, you what? Purse your lips, look skeptical, that's it. You made me do it. Salabesh orders a short string of impossible syllables, words of power which you mentally, no, mentally, for later use against Jumble. There, see what that does to him. And tell me, Salabesh Onyx isn't the master of curses, then. Updated Thanks, Salabesh. My journal. I'll do that. Farewell. Uh, but yeah, uh, feel free to follow, uh, we stream Monday, uh, Tuesday, 6 to 9, um, both days, and then, come on, close the door, just give me, give me Jumble, let me click on Jumble, please, please let me, please, please, please. There we go. Uh, throw the curse Jumble taught at you. Jumble stares at you in a somewhat skeptical expression. You speak the arcane syllables of Salabesh's curse. For a moment of awkward silence, the chaotic mage notes that nothing seems to have happened. An evil grin spreads across his face. He opens his mouth to retaliate with another curse of his own, only to realize he has no voice. Salabesh's curse has removed Jumble's ability to speak, thereby destroying the chaotic's ability to curse others. He clutches at his throat, panic rolling up in his eyes. Looks like the tables are turned, Jumble. What do you think will happen when anyone pick up you never curse finds out you can't speak or curse anymore? Uh, Jumble drops to his knees, a pleading expression in his eyes. He looks ready to burst into tears. Will you, Hiccup, re <laughs> remove the curse you placed on me and swear never to curse another who didn't mean you harm? Uh, Jumble, uh, very well. I'll Updated remove the curse my journal. Very well, Jumble. There we go. Our hiccup curse has been defeated. No more do we need to kill the members of the Harmonium who literally stood in our way. 
let's see. Uh, Ellie Havelock. Um, gave me a curse. I guess questions. Why are you here then? To be silly as possible. Name thievery. Apologies, I mean no offense. Katrina, look how you do for me. Generous. How much? Uh, three hundred. A done deal. Yes, here it is. Um, let's see. We're still a fighter. Um, gotta get her level up. I popped a curse to 75 last time. Then check traps up to 60. There we go. Alright. Um, take the entire party. Then what was the All thing right. that we needed to do next? Oh, right, the dodecahedron. Um, then we need to, like, I'm gone. here. I'm gone. And then it was in this room. Okay, the dodecahedron uh, was here. Store is locked. Hi. I can use her to use her thieving right. skills on the door. Done. Success hall. Success hall. Uh, take the dodecahedron and take the scroll of fire and ice. Um, and then we have Daycon. Come over done. here. Take all these charms. There's a bunch of spells that I wanted him to take as well. Bam, 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 bam. Um, a scroll of identify, a scroll of pacify, blindness, and scroll of friend. Oh, friends is fine. Scroll of shields. I can't do that anymore. And there was this thing right here which had a bunch of coppers. Let's save our game right here. All right. Uh, bam. I think we probably need to talk about uh, the sensorium. We need to find a way to trigger the dialogue of the sensorium with that guy. Up that journal from the place, get the notes. Maybe that'll trigger something first as well. Ah, the sweet smell Done. of sensates and governors. Okay, okay. Let's see here. Um, right, we need to use some of the dodecahedron, fiddle with it, keep it in the dodecahedron, keep it in the dodecahedron. Sorry, I've, I've done this all already and then died, so that was fun. Um, save in the blood get timeline. Um, and then there is the linguist's home that we need to go to. And talk to him. I have some questions. Hold the dodecahedron with writing. Note still. Very much like to see him just the same. You said your father was murdered? Use language and could teach it. Updated my journal. Right. Very well, Finn. Okay, so let's uh, go back to the brothel. Uh, Slating Intellectual Lust. Honestly, a really great name. Love that name a lot.
come down to his place. Couldn't walk just like, you know, all the way across there. I mean, granted, he also probably doesn't have, like, the squibs to be able to, like, break into somebody's home, so. Did not. I'm gone. What's one matter? Oh, the game's paused. Oops. <laughs> My bad. Blam bam. Let's see here. Let me give him the journal back. Hedron, you have those notes still. I'd very much like to see them just the same. It's Updated this book right journal. here. See, I'm sorry, but well, yes, it is. Uh, my father's notes and the uh, Phantom Deli's notes. Use. Uh, these are the notes of the deceased linguist Phantom Deli. They are composed of his research into the language of the Uyo. It seems to be remarkably similar to the writings you found hidden in the Dodeki Hudrin puzzle box. Updated my journal. Carefully this part's memory. As you read over Finn and Deli's notes regarding the lost language of the Uyo, there is a throbbing sensation in your temples as a memory begins to surface. Memories of this language. You recall letters, words, phrases, still, until a spire-like wind blowing away the blink of the poisonous smog over the blank boundary. The language is once more revealed to you in its entirety. You should be able to read the writing in the Dodeki Hedron now. Nice! Um, let's have you pick up that axe of. I hear your words. You can pick up the axe of torment. Um, but then there's this, so we can use stories, bone tells, for the that I'm XP. Gone. Stories, bone tells. This is in question, spirit. Who are you? Hmm. Oh, I can't get that memory then. Okay. At least we got it in another uh, place. I'm gone. Um, and then I guess we could ask him about the legacies in the Dodecahedron. It said. Uh, Updated my read journal. Read it. Will be a journal of some one kept by some prior version of yourself. About whispering shadows. They're not moving. They are speaking, plotting, talking to each other. I cannot understand what they say. Read about a female ghost. I don't know her and she torments me. Uh, read about hiding something. I think we already got that. Read about a, something about a legacy. A legacy, the note read. Forget not to collect your legacy in a small code. 51 AA. A trap, no doubt. Set by yet another one of the false cells. See if destroyed, I will. Choose. About killing the fest hall. I killed him with the sensor. I feel second. stronger. There we go. That's that level up that I wanted so badly. Wisdom 13. Bam. Okay, and then we wanted to go to the advocate's home. And then we we're going to ask him about the legacy here. I'm gone. Honest, I have some questions for you. Excuse me for asking, but are you alright? Anything I can help with? Perhaps talking about your troubles will ease your mind. Tell me about your daughter. Uh, tell me about her, what she was like. Dianora saw a woman by that name and turned into the mortuary and met Maria Hall. Updated she was my journal. Uh, she had joined it as a gift. Uh, do you know anything about this man she journeyed with? I believe this man was me, but I have forgotten much. Her strange condition. Blah, blah, blah. I am inclined to agree. Thou, I will do that. Very well, then. Um, greetings, Neonis. Some questions for you. Uh, the advocate again. Actually, I believe I have a legacy for me. Uh, 51 AA. He looks at you in surprise about the legacy. That is extremely old. Are you certain? Shock looks comes upon the face. I hope that that wasn't one of the ones that was burned. How old is it? Well, several decades at least. You said it might have burned. Burn. What do you mean? But yes, this office was the target of a senseless act of vandalism. A year ago... Uh, we had a break-in here at the office. The vandal's sole desire seemed to burn my legal documentation. Much was lost. A shame, really. Sigil can be quite wearing on a person's faith. It seems to lose an inch as we mentioned Sigil. The vandal will only damage certain documents. Irreplaceable. Can you see if the legacy exists? Of course. It will take a moment. Very well. I will wait. 
Yes, fortunately it was unharmed by the fire. All the articles are still safe. Can I collect on it? I am the beneficiary. Of course, sign here and here on the dotted line. There we are. That should be the last of the paperwork. Here are all the items that were in the vault. This one looks like a foundry receipt, though a quite old one to be sure. Does the seas have something commissioned at the foundry? I don't know. Perhaps I'm beginning to think about anything as possible. Updated my journal. Uh, I don't know. Perhaps uh, it's located in the lower ward. It's past the great gate. Look for the number of gods and guards the gate. You should be in the right place. Uh, in knowing the teachings of Zerthamon, I have become stronger. Strange chunk of rock. The lump of stone is much higher than it looks. It's a petrified organ of some creature. Although this lump has a strange texture, it is extremely pliant, like a sponge. Huh. Yes. I'll have you pick that up. Um, I want you I need that. That thing though. Kaleidoscope gem. Uh this looks extremely valuable. And we can have What's up? Or pick that ring up. And bam! Looks like we got the receipt I'm now. Gone. That's all right. Namil. Uh, greetings. Can you see anything on the sharp? Uh, some wish of her. Wow. Uh, I need one soul. Blah blah blah. Namil, your friend Aylwin is looking journal. for you. She had another coin. That's all right. Uh, yes. Give me that max HP increase, please. I think fair. Namil, farewell. All right, let's head to the lower ward, redeem the receipt, and uh, we have no, 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 thank you, please. Lower ward, thank you. Done. All right, where do we need to go? The marketplace, marketplace, each tower, print shop, warehouse. There it is, right here. The godsmen are out front here. Godsman Guard. I'm here to pick up an order. May we see your receipt? Yes. Thank you, sir. Let's see. Southern Wall, the Foundry. Thank you for your patronage. He opens the gate for you. Honestly, the Godsmen are the faction that I wanted to join the most. Um, let's see. No, nope, and I'm still factionless. Let's see. Uh, foundry worker, foundry worker. Most of those are probably just also Godsmen Guards. Godsmen. Do I still have the receipt? Yes. Uh, it's confident. Where's this clerk's office? Just south of the main foundry, you'll find an office at the desk. I'd like to find a named character. Godsmen, 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 Godsmen. Godsmen. This door is locked. Nope. Don't want Alyssa Teals. You see a short woman with slight horns in her forehead and ears that curve sharply back on her skull. She smells faintly of sulfur. You have another reek of the foundry's fires. Greetings. What can I do for you? Um, looking for the pickup office. What exactly do the godsmen stand for? How do I join? Go speak to Kelder of Durian in the meeting hall. There's a door on the right wall. Let's see. Some questions. Um... I'm gonna pick up where is he? You should we go to the door of this? Find it. Thank you. Bye. Uh, can I go in here? It's locked. You will need a key. Okay. What about that door? Oh, nice. This is the only room I can enter. So. Let's see. Done. Is that is that it? Let's see. Well, not that I can answer. Uh, greetings, stranger. How goes your day? Uh, what do you seek, Half-Man? Did you call journal. me Half-Man? I call you Half-Man because I cannot see your spirit. All other mortals who pass through my life show their spirits to me as a shining spark of a smoldering ember. You show nothing at all. I call you Half-Man because I cannot see your spirit as I see those of others. Whether this is because you have no soul or because you have transcended, I cannot say. One way or another, you are but half a man. What the other half is, I cannot say. Uh, tell me of your family. My brother Saros is a child of the Foundry, yet I fear he has never embraced the philosophies of the believers of the Source. My father is a factor here, and his travels have led him far from the Foundry. Also remains in the most there. Uh, there we go. Okay. Is this the way? This is the meeting hall. 
There is Keldor. I think he was the one that was able to allow me to enter. I'd like to ask some questions. I would like to join the Godsman. You, should complete, you must complete three quests. The first quest is that you must go to the forge and create an item. This will show that you are capable of seeking the possibilities inherent even in base lump of iron. That you are capable of bringing forth something that will stand the test of time. It measures your vision and your ability to make the potential. Talk to a list of the Foundry Supervisor and the main Foundry to see how it all works. Journal. Okay. I'd like to see the secret project if I could. What? Friend, I, I, can't, I can't give that to you until you prove yourself a friend of the Godsman. Farewell, Founder Smith, Founder Smith. This is not the place. This is not the place. This is not the place I want to go. Uh, bed I will. Uh, can I feel something? Uh, to remember the project you're working on. Sworn to our lives to complete and defend? No, I don't think so. Okay. Is this just somebody's room? Or this is a small dwelling? I'm gone. There's nothing in these rooms. Okay. Done. And uh, throw that in there. No, I don't think there's prob. I don't think I'm probably gonna find anything in these rooms. Uh, that's fine. Uh, All right. We can just head back through there. I think I saw another room um, on this side. Yeah, I think it was down here. South end. No, no. Uh, hell. Uh, have I seen you before? You seem familiar to me somehow. I suppose it's possible. Never forget a face. It'll come to me. Ah, it's a bottor with it. Uh, do you remember where? It's important to me. Not so fast, lad. It takes a while for the mind to warm up to a task like this. I've lived a long time. I've seen a lot more faces in that time. Um, that, and it ain't so easy to remember. Memory's a fleeting thing, and that's something you can bank on. Tell me about it, lad. And forget it. I'm here to pick up an item. Do you have a receipt? Yes, I do. Uh, man. This thing's over a hundred years old. How'd you come by it? Um, I left it for myself, but I got busy. It's a good one, lad. I'll just bet you were busy. Here you go. Treat this work with care. You hear? Yes, I will. Um, to pick up some gear from the forge. We need an apron, ten copper, some tongs, another ten, and a hammer, which will be twenty. Comes to fifty copper. Uh, that comes to forty copper, old man. What am I thinking? Of course it is. I tell you, memory is an insidious thing. Bam. Um, well. My blade has shifted. You finding some improved film arranging abilities have increased. Um, how do I change your spell book? I don't I haven't been able to do that since this game started. Uh, let's see. Let's have you drop a few things. Curious ironwork. You see a shimmering filigree ironwork that they picked up in the Great Foundry. It looks almost gaudy. No idea what to do with it right now, but it must be important if you left it behind for yourself. Uh the bloody handkerchief. We need the tonks. Why do we have that junk still? We're gonna need that. That. Hi, what? Done. Okay. Alright. Take the whole party. Let's see. I want to talk to that girl so I can join the believers of the source. Uh, God's been. Uh, it's a crash course. Let's see. You want to work the forge? First, you need a protective apron, then you'll need to find some tongs, the hammer, and a free anvil. Then you get a lump of iron, place it in the fire. It gets hot up to shape, and then pound the devil out of it on the anvil. When you've achieved the shape you need, dunk it in the water bucket for safety. That's the crash course, mind you. You need some skill to handle it. How hard can that be? Be surprised, Burke. Get out of here. I'm busy. Um. I need an anvil. Uh, are there some other questions? Okay, there was a girl. Or a Thilton? Is that it? Um, some questions. I need to use the forge. Can you give me some more? Seems like they'll let anyone be a godsman these days. Can't like the old days. You had to show real potential to be a member. You want the sign for your Ponzi test? Take it then and get mazed. You thrust a lump of cold ore into your hands. Uh, you need to use the orge. Uh, okay. Alright. Where. 
is an anvil. She was the person I was supposed to speak to. Yeah, there we go. I had some questions for you. I need to use the forge. Certainly, just make sure you have the proper items for it. Uh, yep, of course, your iron ore. Let's see. Um, where can I get this item? Forge. Where is the forge? Um, there we go. Use the forge. Fire soaring off an incredible amount of heat, but thanks to your protection, you're able to withstand it without any damage. You like to look at the forge. Yes. Um, is there a certain number of steps that I need to, uh, do to do this? Because I don't want to have to do this again. Uh, let's see. Godsmith. Leavers of the Source. Um, let's see. Philosophy. Join the faction. Keldor is going to speak to you. Uh, ask Foundry of the two things for allowing him to join. Get okay, quest. Name is going to be a big quest. Or killer becomes a godman. Craft an item. First, uh, second quest is solve a murder with Elden Saros and Barrow of Baldar Lynn. Okay, that's that's fun. Um, let's craft an item from iron ore. Uh, craft Foundry in connection to the tongs. Uh, let's see. Let's see right. Tong. Till the tongs have a firm grip for the sweat. What would you do now? Uh, pick up the tong or the tongs and hold it into the flames. You are soft as rapidly, soon becoming soft enough to work. Uh, place the soft ore on the forge and work it into shape. What would you like to forge? Something small and dangerous, a stiletto, a two-handed hammer. Hammer, fast piece of work, and one will allow you to get out of this sweat box quickly. You sure you want a hammer? Yes. This is a nice sledgehammer, well shaped, well balanced, and perfectly suited to your hands. Good, I'll just show this to Keldor. Maybe I'll keep this hammer to crack some heads. Uh, okay. Fire system. Protection. Red tongs. Uh, you want to hold the flames. Shape. Two-handed hammer. I would rather make something else. A battle axe. Yeah, there we go. I'll show Kelder. Maybe we're trying this weapon. And a forge hammer. Did I get that two-handed hammer? High quality sledgehammer. One to ten. Uh, oh, big bullet. This weapon is dangerous. It requires two hands and desire to. Yeah, baby, that's what I'm talking about. So two to nine crushing versus one to ten crushing. Personally, I think the uh, one to ten higher is a higher damage rate, but it also is dealing like plus one fire damage too. Hmm, but is that is that is that accounted for in the amount? I mean, that would make sense. It does. Uh, you had questions at the forge. Show me enemy forge. This, kind of, this is without doubt one of the better pieces I've seen a recruit forge. You'll go far, my friend. Wait for the next test. I suppose I am. Murderer has struck in the foundry, and I am forsaking the usual test in order for you to track this killer down. Go and speak to the supervisor, Alyssa Tilled, the main foundry, and proceed from there. When you have completed your investigation and are ready to name of culture, uh, come Updated back to me. my journal. Uh... I wanted to talk about this murder investigation. Uh, not enough. I mean, I wanted to ask you about it, but that's fine. Um. Huh. Oh no, what's happening? Oh no? Oh no. Okay. Let's see. Alyssa Teald, I think was her name. Uh, under Kelder's authority, I'm investigating the murder it occurred. What can you tell me about it? Want to know what I saw the night of the murder? Well, I was working late. I heard the sound of scuff, and when I came out, I saw a shadowy figure slipping through the door of the meeting hall. I raised the alarm. Do you have any other details? I only know three people who had access to the building that night. They were Thelden, Saros, and Benai Lynn. Lynn. The three of them have dramatically different builds, but in the maze of the foundry, I can see. How do I know you didn't do it? I have an alibi. Not to mention that Keldor already ascertained the truth from me. I have nothing to hide. Apparently Thild and Saros and Barros do. Because they wouldn't go under Keldor's spell. Where can I find Thild in? Where can I find Saros? Where can I find Thild in? Okay. Uh, 
Uh, Philden. Uh, well, what can Phil Philden do about you? These questions. Uh, were you doing the night of the murder? What was I doing? Why, I was sitting in my room with a nice loaf of bread and a jug of wine, staying in. Did go out the night. Didn't see no need. Do you have anyone I can swear otherwise? No. Never saw the need to make sure of it. One, one place you might ask, if you're really looking for leads, is Saros. That little thieving knight goes everywhere. What with his father being such a high up here, he's always probably a new experience. Boy, is practically a sensei, if you ask me. You probably want to kill someone and see if I can get away with it. Saros, every time I'll remember that. Uh, alright. Uh, we need to find Saros. Saros, there's Saros. Uh, greetings, wounded man. What would you need of me? Answers. Uh, that's Sarosa. Uh, daughter Sarosa, Santa, da, da, da. Tell me of your family. Uh, my father's a factor here. Can you tell me of your brother? Saros is a brash, impulsive lad, easily given over to his manhood. He's eager to prove himself equal to of anything on the plains, full of the aggression of youth. I believe himself more of a sensei than godsman further indicating my belief that sensates are the most immature of the factions of sigil. Why are they the most immature? Why they are the most immature? Because, like children, they do not understand that there is more beyond the world of the senses, beyond what one can see, hear, taste, touch, smell. Look around you. You are in the outer plains. This is belief made solid, but that does not mean that seemingly rough matter can be comprehended by the senses. This is belief. No mere physicality can match it. Done. Huh. That's kind of cool. Where is Saros? There he is. Um, let's see. I can't poor Smith. Uh, it's pretty awful to be... Do you have any idea what might happen? Do you have any leads? Who told you? The supervisor? She's right. I come in here at night sometimes when there's no one around. Looks around can spirit totally for a moment. Uh, I saw Thilden creeping out there. The main reason I knew it was him because he, because he dropped something. He hands you an all with the name of Thilden. Thanks. Updated Back my journal. Home. Uh, I mean, yeah, we don't really need those tongs. Uh, you wouldn't let me go free? Not yet, I've asked some questions for you. Uh, I'm scared. I'm afraid you're going to choose me as the killer, eh? And I ain't. Well, if you're guilty. Let's talk to Thilden again before we get the information from the last gal. Done. At, though. There he is. Uh, Saros. You remember Saros, don't you? Give me an all found near the bottom. Oddly, this all has your name on it etched into the handle. How do you explain Updated that? My journal. Looks momentarily flustered and then says, Saros is a thief. Odds are he stole it from me. In fact, I've been missing for my all for some time now. Never mentioned to anyone because I figure I just lost it. Now that I know Saros stole it to anyone, because if they, uh, better go get him before he gives you the laugh. The senior expression says before he escapes. I was a little too pat. I'll ask him about it as soon as I get more some more answers from you. Uh, I mean, if he says this all was missing the night of the murder. Uh, there we go. I guess I should talk to her now. I'm gone. Uh, but I will. Uh, let's see here. Tell me what you know of the murder. Let's see. I asked some of the guards to head out for the night because I was working on some delicate engineering on the project in the next room. And I didn't need their psychic emanations fouling me up some very crucial work. It was some dismay that I found the body when I emerged from the room. Being as I have no other alibi, I realize I'm a suspect. And I suspect you've already found that I wouldn't consent to go on under the spell to answer. The reason for that is that it would be violating the oath of secretly I swore to protect the project. Sometimes I think we'll check on that. You'd, you'll do that. He'll verify what I've told you. He'd minister the oath to me so he knows his power. And we'll head up here, speak to Keldor, um, verify that. Uh, uh, like to talk about murder investigations. Okay. Uh, I guess we speak to Saros. Sultan says you planted the all at the murder scene and that you're trying to frame him for the murder because you two disagreed. 
Of course he'd say that, just because he's guilty and he wants to make you look someplace else. I saw him kill that man. Sure, we disagree, but that doesn't mean I want him dead. Just because he's total Burke doesn't mean he should be arrested. He should be arrested for killing a villain. Tell him he needs proof. All right, then. Updated my journal. For you. Uh, this is fun. Running through a couple rooms, going back and forth, talking to two different people. Um, at least the load times aren't bad on this. I'm gone. Tells me it's not a frame. In fact, he said he's personally will witnessed you killing the poor sod. He what? I tell you that boy's a thief and a murderer. And you don't believe me? What if I told you the lad's an anarchist too, a member of the Revolutionary League? Um, if that were true, frankly, I don't really care. Because uh, why should Updated I believe that? Because I say it so. Because I'm about to say something that'll make a criminal of me. But I'll say it to see justice done. I know he's an anarchist because he tried to recruit me. Him and that engineer, Badai Lil. I told him I'd do it so I could trap him, but then I realized he didn't have the stomach to harm poor Saros. I turned him down, and now they're trying to cover the tracks. That they want me gone. That's why they, they're they killers, not me. Um, Assuming I believe this, why shouldn't I have you in prison too? What? You're accusing me? But I didn't do anything, Burke. You've got the wrong man. Uh, plus, all the evidence points to you. Uh, I'm joking with you, Philbin. Farewell. Um... I guess we talked to Badai Lim about being an anarchist. I didn't know you could be more than one faction. Done. Um, Filton says that you're an anarchist and you're trying to pin the crime on him. Uh, an anarchist? Right. Here's my other leg. Did you have some questions or can I get back to the work? Um, Filton says that you're an anarchist. Uh, what do you know about the murder? Okay. Well, let me try and do that again. Uh, oh, thanks. I think I'll check on that with Kilvor. Uh, this is like this is kind of going back and forth in the, this murder case. Oh, come on, everyone, All please, right. please, please, please. Thank you. Um, and then let's head up here towards Keldor. See if I can spark that dialogue. Um, see the questions first. Uh, who are you? Let's see the questions. Want to talk about the murder investigations? Okay, so I can't do that line of dialogue. That's that's fine. Come on. Please, please, I beg of you. Wilson tells me that you and Badai Lim are anarchists and that you're trying to frame him because he turned down an offer to join you. She has nothing to do with this. I did it on my own. But the truth is, Philpin shoved Al Bilden into the gears. I put the all there to make every sure everyone would know he was there. Because I'm just a kid, and no one would believe I was saying, all right? I admit that I planted the all, but I only did to make sure he got punished for his crime. Why? Why should I not think that you're doing this to get back Updated at him from some other time? Because, because I don't know why you'd think that, but I promise. Go talk to him and tell him what I said, and then you can decide for yourself. Beautiful. Done. Okay. Guess we go talk to Philden one more time. <laughs> uh, let's see. Where are you, Philden? There you are. Um, he says you planted the, the owl on the body, but only because he wanted to make sure that you'd be implicated in the death. He says you're a murderer, and he wanted to make sure you got caught. He. What? I. He admitted he's an anarchist? Yes, he seems to believe you're dangerous to everyone around you, whether they be an anarchist or godsman, that someone needs to stop you. He's willing to admit to his own crimes in order to ensure that you are met and made with justice. You're accusing me, but I ain't the murderer. I'm just trying to expose anarchists, Burke. Damn, you can't do this to me. You can't trust anyone who says they saw me do it, so you can't say I did it. Would you say the same thing under oath and spell? I'm betting Saros would. Bugger, can I at least take my stuff and give this place a laugh? Well, Phil's to make sure you don't regret it. No. Remain here or suffer worse consequences. You can rest assured that I can make certain of that. Good day, Philbin. Nice. Done. 
Would someone who's chaotic evil do this? Try and solve a murder crime and not implicate someone else? He had personal problems with Thilden, and he was trying to say... Uh, Thilden committed the crime, but Saros tried to frame him for it. Um, it's an anarchist plot, and Saros is the middle of it. Arrest them both. What? Both of them? And this is a sad day for the godsmen. A sad day indeed. Allow me to mo take a moment to the guards. He's incited by the ordeal. It is done. My thanks for resolving the investigation. One more task remaining to you. Sandos, father of Sarosa and Saros, as one more of our vital members, has returned from a harrowing journey. Has locked himself in this tower room and threatening to kill himself. Speak to him. Uh. Stop Updated him. Updated my journal. What does he want to know? Okay. Why not? Alright, we go up here then. Have a bunch I'm of gone. To do. Where is the tower rooms? Done. <sighs> Oops. Let's see. There's nobody in here. Where are the tower rooms? I don't know why he tried to, like, I'm gone. get Badai, like, uh, framed for it. That doesn't really make sense. Hmm. I'm gone. Power room. Uh, got the guard. He, uh, he's behind these guarded doors. There's a secret, so even about your faction messages. Where? He's in a tower? Show walkable. I really want to become a godsman. Uh, did you mention having seen me before? Do you remember where? Fast lad, take a second. Uh, then can tell me who you are? Madeline. That's a pity. Uh, I said, at least I used to be, because now I'm Clark in the Fadron. Godsman, fighter, extraordinaire. Um, ba ba ba. No, I just wanted to see your smiling face. Plus, you son. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some wisdom to look out. Uh, maybe here? this room for? Huh. Maybe it's outside of the, the foundry. That would make sense, you know. Done. If there are, like, tower places um, where people live inside near the foundry. He's locked himself in his tower. Him and come out. How? It's outside the gates? No, because I can't enter in through these doors. Hmm. That's exciting. Godsman Hall to the Godsman Armory to the Lower Ward. Is there anything else inside this room? Hmm. Stay away to the upper level. Done. Hey, there's a door over here. Maybe that's one that I can unlock. Yeah, here's something. Uh, Nil Xander. Oh, that'll go upstairs. Oh, hello. A busty haired man who, in the height of fashion, if you consider fashion, would have died 50 years ago. His clothing seems to consist of tattered streeted urchin, urchin rags and affected to seem to matter towards those around him. Or that might just be his actual manner. He doesn't even glance at you until you speak to him. Uh, how long has this been? Two hours. Okay. You want something? What can you tell me about the godsmen? Uh, that's a long subject. Well, I think this upstairs. I don't want to talk to him then. Uh, then we come up here, maybe? I'm gone. Uh, greetings, sir. Did Keldar send you? Sandos came up here, and he's been raving and muttering behind the door all day. I sure hope you can do something for him. Uh, Sandos, I need to talk. 
Muffled voice. Go away. You Sandoz? Who else would I be? These are my rooms. This is my faction. Last bitter. This is where I'm going to die. Well, good luck with that. No one really cares. <laughs> they said I should come talk to you. I guess they, they don't want you dead? I see. Send a concerned train stranger to cock me out of it, eh? Voice drops to conspiratorial tones. Did they tell you you could join them if they just came talk to me? They think that it would make you care more. Wait for him to continue. Well, say something. Or are you suddenly mute? Ha, if you'd seen half the things I'd seen. You have no idea what I have seen, Sandoz, and if you don't see me threatening to kill myself, do you get a grip on yourself, man, and grow up? Probably better to just try to expunge that with sweet oblivion, then. What have you seen? I have seen horrors beyond imagining. I've seen a twisted, tortured god bound by laughing fiends. I've seen a layer of the abyss distill itself in the essence of a single individual. I have seen all of the laws of nature perverted, and I have seen all the truths of man turned upside down. None of it makes sense to me anymore, and I cannot bear it any longer. What's the point, I ask you? What's the point? That's the entire godsman philosophy. Just remember that you're going through tests. What's being tested now is your grasp, or perhaps the expanse of your intellect. Look at what you've done, and ask yourself what you're supposed to learn. Barks out a sharp laugh. They taught you well, at least. Let me think about this. I do hope you've got some time. All the time in the world, Sandoz. Think it over. When it speaks again, the voice sounds a little more balanced. Go down and tell Keldor you've talked some sense to me. I'll want to see him eventually, but you've done your job. Go on now. Ah, oh, that's cool. If I was already part of the Dustman faction, I probably would have just been like, yeah, give yourself to oblivion or whatever. Honestly, the Dustmen are just so freaking weird. I love them. Let's see, I have succeeded. You have gained a sense of life. You have succeeded. Glorious news. Congratulations, my friend. You have proven yourself worthy of joining the Godsmen. Would you like to take the oath now or perhaps wait until later? Now. Life's tribulations are tests. There is nothing I encounter that is not a lesson. Pain is the multiverse's way of reinforcing a lesson. What I hate most in others is a reflection of what I hate most in myself. I will act to activate my potential and to aid others in achieving their goals. I remember that divinity's spark is present in everything. I swear fealty to the believers of the source and their goals, never to forsake them. You swear the oath and Kelder smiles. Welcome to the godsmen, lads. Do you need anything Updated from me now? Journal. I'd like to get some healing if I could. Um... Ascension? 3 to 10 slashing. Hmm. Will you not buy anything from me? The answer there is no. Enlightenment. 2 to 7. Piercing. Reason. Uh, 5 to 12. Crushing. I mean, that's that's better than what I have. 4,750 rooms. Noble. Done. Huh. I mean, how do I get a bunch of gold really, really fast? I want one of those. Um, I, mean, I guess I could ask him to tell me about, like, the secret project. Um, whatever it is that they're working on. Either way, I have the thingy. Let's see. Uh, I can see secret project. You've proven yourself trustworthy. Here, take this. He presses a token and blazes with the godsman symbol into your hands. Do not lose it. If you do, I'm afraid I cannot replace it. So be careful with it. Do you have anything else I can do for you? Uh, Thilden's all. Yeah, I mean, I don't need that anymore. It's from a murder case. Who needs it? Not me. Done. Maybe this is the place that I can open now. Door is locked. Maybe that one. Um, Godsman token. Seal the resource for you some trust. Guard it carefully. Um, good day, sir. What is, what are you? How do I get past there? This door is locked. Okay. Where is the secret project? I want to know what that secret project is. Please, don't dice hunk me here. Gimme. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Mm. Well. Oh, well. Uh, we can worry about it later. Uh, we've got the stuff, though, now. 
really want to buy some things to write some things. Maybe if I sell I'm some gone. things, uh, to the curiosity, erect house, the pawn shop. I only have inventory size. I mean, I feel like the pawn shop is the place that I go to sell things. So let's just go inside there. Um, there's Micah, that's right. Try and see the dead one has returned. Broca, the dead one has returned. Um, let's talk about trades. Um, Hark of the... Oh, I don't want to give that up. That summons a bunch of really cool horses. Necklace of hollow teeth, sell. Battle axe of quality. I mean, here's the thing. I don't know if I'm ever going to get to lawful good. Because I'm only... I'm already at, like, chaotic evil. So we can sell that. Um, Thrice Blind's Charm. Oh, you won't take those spells? The Tome of Bone and Ash. Huh. I mean, I still, I've never had to, like, pull that open, so I don't know why I still need it. Um, uh, Strange Chunk of Rock, Elixir of Horrific Separation. Bone Charm. Corpse Slide Charm. Uh not charm the cockroach charm yeah we don't need that uh thrice blind charm the shards of fate thing just seems really nice i don't want to nope we're not we're not getting rid of that uh we're getting rid of that and ooh, we are very close if i get rid of the high quality sledgehammer um and if i take these weapons and then we can talk about trades. Um, let's see. Take my bone. Ooh, bone dagger. Yeah. Take the bone dagger and the jagged knife. And we sell them. And leave. And now then we go back to the godsman place. Sorry, we're doing just some inventory management right now. Um, and we'll go inside, talk to our beautiful boy, Keldor, and then get that sweet hammer. We don't want the all. Let's see, let's purchase some items. We have wonderful, delightful magic items. We have Ascension, 3 to 10 slashing. Reason, which is 5 to 12 crushing. It also gives me plus 1 to charisma. Uh, let's see, it's only by fighters, useful only by godsmen. You are the first. Let's see. Zormus Hammer is the third weapon in the Godsman's Triad of Kess. The other two are the Axe, Ascension, and the Dagger Enlightenment. Head is covered with mystic runes and engraved with symbol of Godsman. It runs in your hands. You are the first to bear this weapon. Um, Reason, Dagger Enlightenment, Zormus Action, Severe Demon Axe Head. I mean, I'm going to take Reason then. Um, and. Bam. Sorry, Brimstone Hammer, that has been with me my entire life. Uh, let's purchase some items. Oh, he won't take it, but it's 4,000 gold. Um, how much gold do I still have left over? 440. Um, if I can get the Curiosity Shop uh, dealer to buy one of those, I think I might be able to upgrade... Oh, no, because she's not a godsman, so... Still, I might as well. Might as well sell it. It's just 4,000 copper commons. Why wouldn't I take that? Um, let's see. Let's see up rewards. I'll allow us to come down to the clerk's ward. No, thank you. I don't want this 
invite you. Um, the curiosity shop, apothecary. I must rest. So we should probably. I mean, I can take uh, lodgings in the Society of Sensation. I could also take lodging in the Godsman place. So. here and then she starts getting angry at uh, fall from grace uh, yes I am um, let's see your merchandise then uh, the weapons and charms hello yes please buy my brimstone hammer divine sensor let the power entice the recent Angle lens, eye, magnifying lens, snap on is only usable by Modrons? There's a Modron companion? Huh. Leather bracelet, enchanted battle axe, enchanted hammer, adder's tear, Anne's vest, abyssal pipe. Uh, huh. Interesting. Uh, that's cool. Done. I don't know how to get that. I remember reading something about... I mean, because there's the burning corpse dude. Does she have a decanter of endless water? Is that it? I need to buy something? Um, the exotic items. Gorgon South, the talent key finger, front of the store, codex of the inconceivable, uh, back of the store, ragdoll, the stained lens... Uh, actually, let me see the other things. Maybe the uncover sale sign, ale of unusual magnifacture, mm, paraffin of ice. Hmm. Yvra's ring. Uh, small power of almost invisibility. It makes us wear invisibility. Well, almost. For 49 copper comments. Uh, 349. Uh, an event which is, let's see. Ebra's ring of almost invisibility. It makes its wearer almost invisible. The wearer becomes really, really close to being invisible. An event which is often disconcerting to an attacker, thus making it more difficult to strike in combat. Okay. That's funny. That's that's hilarious. I love that. Done. Um, okay. So we've got the... Th oh, right. I should buy a charm. Or at least see if she's got a charm of infinite recall. Um, yes I am. Weapons and charms. Bye. 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 There's a few. That's five. That's fine. Um, curious ironwork. You have no idea what it is. It's important not to be left by behind. Uh, select item. Recall. The curious, the unfolding portal is a shimmering piece of filigree metalwork that you picked up from the Great Foundry. It looks almost gauzy. Sharp edges protrude from it. You have no idea where it goes right now, but it must be important. What you need to do is find the proper key. I mean, if it's what I think it is, then use. Uh, you unfold the shimmering metal and immediately begins crackling with life. It begins forming into a metallic circle, hovering in the air. There's something in your possession that has activated this portal. You get the feeling that you ought to make sure you have everything you need. You might not be back in sigil for a long time. Oh, that's ominous. Step through the portal. Oh, fuck. Ravel's maze? Ooh. Oh gosh. That deals a lot of damage. Oh no. Oh, there's a lot of traps here. Um. Yeesh. Okay. Um. Check traps. So, everyone Done. is going to move over here, hmm? and you are going to use your thieving skills. Right. Just on. Right. 
and special ability, green skills on that. Disarm deck. It is disarm. Um, we'll just have you just be constantly detecting traps then. Just chill for a moment here. Uh, can I rest here? It's too dangerous I'm to gone. rest here. That's cool. That's, that's fine. Balance in Spell, all things. power of one. Most of her spells are uh, All right. already used. Why didn't I rest before I came in here? That was a mistake. I'm hurt. Here is practice, it seems. the big question: Can I leave? Yes, I can. Okay. Okay, good. Shit. I can't leave, actually. Um, nope. The game said no. What if you wanted to leave a portal, but God said no? I am... Encore. Hey, Encore. that's actually probably going to be useful. Yeah, it is. All right. Looks like I've been playing through someone's bowels. Uh, such as me, but now a tree limb that has grown from the floor of the maze and fallen into arc. As you step up to the arc, the space beneath the arch closes softly, leads to some strange barbed black, black barbed garden. Examine the archway. Examine the natural arch. You notice that the left side of the trunk is scored, uh, as if someone took a knife blade and cut several notches in it. The scoring, however, looks like they came from the knife blade. Like slash marks as if someone's talons scratch the tip of the fingernails as this happens. When your fingernails seem to bark, if you're surprised, the wood gives way beneath your nails like porridge. Dig your nails through the side of the bramble tree, and in response, the glow to the arch glows brightly, beckoning you to step through it. Hey, there's our girl. There's our girl. There she is. This plump, hook nosed crone you, before you doesn't look like much of a myth. She's outfitted in a simple, if dirty, brown shirt and leggings, with a number of pouches hanging from her frayed belt. She seemed oblivious to your presence, more concerned with the tangled black roots woven together to form the floor of the maze than anything transpiring around her. Study her for a moment. A tangle of jagged gray hair juts from beneath the crone's hood, spreading down her shoulders like a mass of twisted gray roots. Sickly blue-gray flesh hangs in loose folds from her face, her narrow chin. Long and sharp, just scored an extreme underbite, two filthy yellow canines protrude from her lower jaw like small tusks. Ravel? <laughs> the crone's voice is thick and scratchy, as if trying to force its way past layers of dust. Her eyes are a dull, bloody red, with black veins running through them like tree branches. She gazes at you. A strange crawling sensation passes through you like snakes burrowing beneath your skin. <laughs> oh, so, no. my pretty thing. Have you returned at last? You were gone so long. I appeared you forgot poor, lonely Ravel. How could I forget you, Ravel? I missed you. But you hid yourself in a place that was difficult for me to reach. Come now. Did you not wish thy company? Ah, Ravel's yellow smile widens, peeling back the folds of her skin as she cackles softly. Such sweet words. You already are knowing the answer of your asking, my precious man. I scattered the clues like caltrips, and you were my means of guiding you to my garden. I have feared it was you who had forgotten I. I assure you I did no such thing. I have returned to you at last. Have you? But what has returned? Let's Ravel see how you've affaired in this life. She reaches out as if to caress you, and you suddenly notice her fingers are talons, each fingernail 
filthy and wickedly sharp. I can touch you. Her ragged talons trace their way across your skin, and in their wake you feel the same strange tingling sensation you felt when Ravel first looked at you. Her eyes dim somewhat, and her talons uh, slide gently along the contours of your face, lingering on your skies. Hello! Meep! 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 Wait. Ravel's fingers withdraw, and she looks at you sadly. Oh, sad, sad, broken half-thing all the pieces. She squints at you again. No longer the one Ravel knew, are you? Are you still a broken after all this sad, sad time? Broken? What do you mean? A body you possess, but a body of knowledge you do not. She points her ragged talon at your chest, at your scars. Many and such, such scars you have, all a scrawled in your skin. Many tales does your skin tell. What tales does my skin tell? Your scars and tattoos shout to me. Here is a man in a confrontation with the world. Ravel makes a crooning noise, sounding like a dying bird. Yes, such tales as would shrivel even a hag's ears. Tell me these tales, I would know them. The tales are many. The echo of imbalance and balance, trials of war, battles with fiendish elements, and a creature that feeds on others from afar to sustain itself and of torments. Such torments that flesh has never known. Hello, how are you, Tay? Balance and balance? Divided in two you were when your mortality was peeled from you. No longer to balance much a broken in the separation. Both a blessing and a mistake, but more mistake than blessing, Ravel thinks. You took my mortality. How? I've forgotten the how of it. I have, have I? Even if I remembered it, I would never do it twice. Not forgotten the moment, have I? And after the break, after a seeing pain stream empty from your veins, your cries like a wailing child, every bit your being filled with emptiness. Terrible, terrible, even for these eyes. So that's why I feel hollow inside, because my mortality is gone. Very well, what are these other tales my skin tells? Trials of war? Great, great trials of war. Much too much to be borne by any, any mortal thing. What war? Where? The war touches all my precious half-man. There's no place to where its caress is not felt. Did it touch you? Ravel's voice drops, almost bitter. This, Ravel, says I. I would explain the car scars. What are these other tales my skin tells? The tales are many. They echo of balance and balance, trials of war. Battles with fiendish elements. Two fiends butt heads, Ravel sniffs, as if in contempt. Their tiny heads filled with ideas of how planes should be, yet can never be. For the planes, they would be no longer such foolishness. Meep, 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 meep. I'm not certain I understand. What are these other tales, my skin tales? Um, let's see. Creature that feeds on others from afar. Hungers? What do you mean? Uh, no base hungers do you feel, but far, far more terrible ones boil beneath your skin, and such a cause. Hungers? What do you mean? I know not, not, not the nature nor the cause of these hungers, but heed this. Coming events cast their shadows before them, my precious half-man. There is no a saying of what these events will be, not even with Ravel's eyes. Very well. What are these other tales my skin tells? These torments... What are the torments you journal. speak of? A lodestone holds iron to it, and so do you, my precious half-man. But it is not iron, but tormented souls. As others suffer, they are drawn to you, and your path becomes theirs. She makes a sweeping gesture. Do you not see them in the eyes of those that have traveled here with you? Your companions, what do you mean? Do you wish to explain gift? Vows may be... Ravel throws a burning glance at Dacon. Tempers with a faint smile. Vows may prove tighter than any chain, no. The manacles of a race once enslaved, now a slave again. Dacon is silent, but his blade shifts at Ravel's word. The blade darkens, the edge sharpening until the crock itself seems to carry a horrible malevolence about it. Watch your words, Ravel. A chattering skull. Ravel doesn't even bother to look at Mort as if he is beneath her notice. Are the quips enough of a shield that what lies beneath inside your brain box, hmm? Why speak truths when lies suffice? Mort, what do you mean? Ravel? The abyssal temptress, Ravel sneers. Her yellow fangs piercing her purpled lips as she squints at fall from grace. Skin so fair, lips so rich. <coughs> mm, sorry. And yet she, in his skin's lips, eyes that might cause you to forget Ravel herself. And many yet she stutters more than any other when one turns on her their nature. Many are the torments that arise from such a betrayal. 
Rather, Grace replies softly, almost calm, cautiously, I have come to terms with you lie, succubus, Ravel's lip pa peel back in a snarl. You lie, do not dare lie to me. When your heart is a book to me, every word you spit screams of your torment. Have a care with your words, Ravel. Enough of this. Ah, Ravel, gestures at Anna, as if she is uh, for sale as on an auction block. Look upon the feisty tiefling, such feisty hair and voice. Ravel smiles, baring her rosy yellow teeth. Shall I speak of your torment, tiefling? Anna seems paralyzed, her eyes wide as Ravel turns her black mane gaze to her. You can see her trembling, her heart beating fast. No, no, I shall not speak of it. Ravel's voice drops in almost an exhaustion, and the smile fades from her face, grown tired of such cruelties and torments. Ravel has. The world is a jagged enough place. She turns to you, her bloody eyes dimmed, and she sighs. My precious precious half-man for you the greatest torment of all life forevermore can it be life a cares for you as Ravel does she gnashes her yellow tusk and a horde blackening noise one so brave so passionate so ter lost so terribly lost sad sad Ravel why did you make me immortal I must a puzzle of bone and skin you were you always intriguing, and the most beloved of all who came to me, petitioning, requesting, pleading, pleasing, pleading for help. The vow stares hard at you, her black-veined ember eyes narrowing, so hard to see past the scars, to dig up the man who once was underneath. Ravel, can you tell me anything of who I once was? A shadow with substance, a seeking that which cast the light. I know you more, and know now. Ravel pauses, her eyes dimming. No more than I know of the nature of any man. Cropped past have we, a man tainted with undeath, still feeling the pangs of separation, an old, withered crone, now all imprisoned. Cropped past? Seems it that we were meeting for the first time. No, no, not, not, not. Ravel seems confused for a moment, then shudders as if throwing off a weight. Not at all. An, an echo of a future meeting this is, or a past meeting, depending upon the way time is facing. So this meeting echoes in a meeting in the past. The now and then are very similar. So tangled the now and then is, both mirrored in each other. Once and again, you come before me with a problem to challenge me for a solution to an impossibility. Ravel hisses at you and her eyes blaze. Beautiful, ungrateful, beloved man. What's the possibility they asked you to solve? Ravel doesn't seem to have heard you. She still seems to be in the past for her eyes dim as if looking away. Such fire in your eyes, enough to stir a gray lady's heart. Passion to be free, but when freed, the fire in your eyes guttered out. With the separation your life has shed all meaning, I fear. And Ravel smiles with her yellowed fangs and clicks them together as if laughing. Mayhap you should sit on your hind legs and limp your forepaws. Mayhap Ravel will give you another scrap of knowing. If begging will give me answers, then I beg you, Ravel. Tell me what you know. I need your help remembering what has happened. Ah, a gentle heart now. Ravel's black-veined eyes glint and the corner of her mouth twists upward like a snake. Has a lie a softened you? Ah, but one can hope. Ravel, I have many questions I wish to ask you. Oh, more questions do you have? <laughs> Ravel crones softly. There's an edge to it as if she is reprimanding you. Tick, tick. But you've already asked so many. Ravel's black-veined eyes take on a curious lean. The time for my questions is now, half-man. Very well, Ravel. Ask your questions. Know this and know Ravel's law. If you do not answer my questions, no more of your questions will I answer, my precious man. Step lightly with the answers or the asking shall tear you apart. Ask your questions, Ravel. I would know why you traveled here with these others. Know not the place they were traveling to? Of course they knew. Who would not want to travel here to meet you, you beautiful Ravel? Um, they chose to walk this path with me chose ah a dangerous word is it so yes yes Ravel throws a black veined glance at Daycon her voice like an arrow is it a choice gift or it is a matter of two skies Daycon's blade bleeds into a vicious dead black mirroring his eyes and to your surprise the cross edge sp silently splits into jagged fangs Ravel leave him be I will answer your questions not them 
Skull, skull, skull. Ravel clicks her tongue after each word and her smile widens. Your expression is difficult to read without the skin wrapping, but I feel your fear from here. Coming here was not your choice. I didn't have anything better to do except go to one of the ladies' mazes and meet one of the most evilest creatures to set in sigil. So I said, sure, why not? More be quiet, Ravel I. Be quiet? Like the hells I will. I think we've listened to this chrome rattle bone box enough, and now she's got some pair of stones saying I haven't got any skin. What if I don't? It's obviously the fact that she she has skin has done wonders for her looks. Does she think I like being naked all the time? And another thing, more cut it out. Ravel, look. Succubus Ravel squints. Did she have a choice? May happen her smooth skinned mind of soft silk and hard truths. Maybe choice, Dick, but no. A sensate must experience all, and to refuse to come? Not a sensate would you be. A still no choice. Ravel, enough of this. The tiefling, the fiery one. Ravel cackles softly, and her eyes kindle as if amused. No choice at all. When you feel instead of think, there is little room for choice. Anna makes no response. Ravel's mere presence seems to have silenced her. Her tail stopped flicking, however, and her eyes have lost their hard edge. Oof. Enough with this, Ravel. What other questions did you have? Shh, there will be time enough for you to speak, my precious man. Ravel taps a talon against one of her yellow tusks. The question next, what do you feel these have come with you? Do they matter in your heart, or are they tools for your will? They matter to me, yeah. Even the gift? Ravel's ember gaze falls on Dacon and slides off the lock with your eyes again. Speak what he means to you and say it's true, or blanket in me, my garden he will be. Huh. Oh, now that's interesting. There are several different, like, dialogue options here, and every single one of them is listed as truth. So in this moment, like, I, the player, get to say these things. There's nothing that's a lie here. Um... He is my ally. I know him. He is my friend. Ah, Ravel nods, and she smiles again, her talons tapping against each other. Does that surprise you? What of the skull? Ravel doesn't even bother to look at Mort. Surely he matters not to one such as you, or does he? Huh. To be honest, I don't trust him yet. He seems to know much, but he is careful with what he shares. Curious, curious, or curious her. Ravel smiles. Quite the puzzle box you are shaping up to be. What else lurks in the dark places of your mind? I had nothing. Ah, Ravel's voice takes on a threatening weight, and she turns to fall from grace, red eyes blazing. And here is the core of it, the abyssal temptress. Does she rise above the merely carnal to you? Is she something else in your eye? Hmm? Ah... Uh, Grace says nothing. She seems to be studying Ravel intently. You are suddenly struck with the feeling that Grace is sizing up Ravel for weaknesses. Um, uh, speak, precious man, but have a care where your words fall. Truth, I can fall in love with her. Uh, I like her. She's many good qualities. I consider her friend. Sucky is and I don't care. Um, here's the thing. I personally am horny for, like, succubuses and tieflings, so I'm definitely going to go that I could fall in love with her. Ravel still slides off your gaze and narrows her eyes at Grace. Hmm. Enough of these games, Ravel. Look. Hmm. Ravel turns, clacks her tusks, then glances at Anna with a sneer. And what if this slip of flesh, the fiendling, the tiefling, with the scarlet hair and the fiery passion, what is she to you, my precious man? Um... Here's the thing, also the tiefling, I could fall in love with her. Ravel's eyes blazes, and she raises her talons like a fan that is in front of her body. And voluntary, you take a step back. You know nothing of love, my precious man. To think it can be shared in a way between these two fiendish whores and Ravel? No more of your words shall I hear. You have answered my questions. 
I know not of what I said. You didn't know. I mean, uh, lips drew back and said, What do you know of knowing, half man? Know this. No, you will stay here until the end of days in my bramble garden, never to leave, and you shall love me as you were meant and as you promised. <laughs> oh, okay. We must fight to settle this, then we will. Propel yourself, Ravel. You have forgotten your place, half-man. Humility is an ordal. We'll see you, foul witch. Um. Huh. The, um. Oops. I think the audio stopped somewhere in there. Yeesh. Okay. Um, we'll see if we can get you... Nope. Reign of Anger on you. There we go. Um, we should have you cast... Call uh, Spiritual Hammer. Give us a spell. 15, heal 1. Oops. Cast Black Bite Kurt on Mort. Well. Huh. Oh, my party members are dying. Uh, Fall from Grace is the only one about... Sensory touch, the touch you can bring on this pain to you, kiss, fill your dreams one to ten, and grants them to grace. Yes, absolutely. You've lost a source of information vital to your What? Huh. Okay, so killing Ravel is not good. Oh, do I have to do all of that over again? Uh. Huh. I don't like that because normally it just kills you and then it has you reset. I should have quick saved before that. Ugh, that's so much progress. Well. That kind of kills the mood. Ravel is an incredibly interesting character, though. I do love her. Um. Huh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this is. Wait, what happened? Well, the thing is, is that I I was. I was like, I was talking to Ravel, um, this kind of like big end game boss. And then the dialogue options led to a fight. And then I, I beat her and I killed her. And that says you was lost an important source of information. And then it forced me to load a new save instead of, you know, maybe putting me back a little bit far away and, See, that I just kind of like lost um, a very large amount of progress from a lot of places. So I'm kind of just sitting here thinking about what exactly I want to do now. 
Um, and then the audio also stopped working. Yeah, it is pretty lame, but like this is an incredibly old game that was made in the 1990s. So I'm just thinking to myself, yeah, you know what? That makes sense. That, that, that makes sense. Um, I'm going to be honest, kind of don't want to go through all of that dialogue again. Um, because that's a lot of story. Ugh. Maybe I'll finish the game in one time. But, hmm. Yeah, I think we'll cut it here. All right. Um, thank you, everybody, for joining. Um, if you haven't already, you should follow me on uh, Twitter. Uh, to be honest, it's very good. I rate monsters on Dungeons and Dragons monsters on whether or not they are hot or not, and also give the stream a follow because, well, you gotta get gotta get those follows, gotta get those follows, you know. And maybe we'll play this again sometime. I don't know. Maybe I'll come back to it. Um, but I think I'm gonna be done for this for like a little bit. It's, uh, I mean, I know I was hitting like about five or so viewers up there at the top, which was really nice. Uh, never really happened before. I think that's kind of cool, but, um, let's see. Uh, so like, yeah, we're just gonna, and like then the audio cut out and that's been happening like twice. Uh, quit game. Quit this great game so yeah um thank you everybody for joining now uh follow me on twitch uh please i beg of you um and we will see you all again i might stream tomorrow i am thinking about it because it's just it's just a sunday you know um but it depends on whether or not this amazon package comes in i ordered a camera uh to Make it so my sweet, lovely face shows up on the stream now. Um, we'll see how that goes. And that depends entirely on whether or not my Dungeons & Dragons campaign is going to be cancelled. It might be earlier in the day. I don't know. But anyways, uh, y'all, thank you all for watching. Uh, thank you, Husker. Thank you, Tyrannosaur. Thank you, Animal Sentinel, who I don't know if is still here. Uh, but it's always nice to see that my <laughs> this stream shows up on people who are actually looking for it. I don't know why. Oh, yeah, someone's saying they play Escape Torment. Anyways, y'all have a nice day.